So if y'all don't know who Danny Walter is, I'm going to put you on game right now. This man is one of the greatest players to ever touch the ice. He's an 83 overall, low elite potential, 21 years old left winger, wearing the number 97. Now what's so special about Danny Walter? He was drafted with the 224th overall pick in the NHL, dead last. I did a 10 year rebuild of the Detroit Red Wings a handful of weeks ago, and Danny Walter was one man I selected with the last overall pick. In just a very short time, not only was he able to make it to the NHL, but he turned into a great piece for us. He's a third, fourth line guy picking up 30 points a season. In his rookie year, he had 37 points, 20 goals, 17 helpers. But in the USA development program, this man went off for being the last overall pick. 59 goals, 59 assists, 118 points. He was him. Now the goal for today, we are going to turn Danny Walter into the GOAT. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these stats onto a created player. And we're going to rebuild the team around Danny Walter and make him the greatest player of all time. So I've gone ahead and created a replica of Danny Walter and we're going to be rebuilding a team around him and the way we're rebuilding that team a fantasy draft so we're getting the 26th overall pick but I'm actually not going to be doing the drafting myself the only player I'm selecting is Danny Walter so I've already done one practice simulation just so I get an idea of where Danny Walter gets selected and he usually gets selected in the sixth to seventh round so we're in the sixth round right now and we're going to be selecting Danny Walter so Danny Walter you're an absolute legend I do have him at 22 years old and the reason I have him at 22 is because in that Red Wing rebuild he was 21 years old entering season number three where he would be 22 so Danny Walter welcome to the team here you're gonna be a game changer for this Red Wings team and for the rest of the draft we're gonna allow the CPU to handle that now we do have a ton of great players we can build around here Sebastian Ajo, Jake Ottinger, John Carlson, Brock Besser, Sean Dursey and then of course Danny Walter there was only six players on this team selected ahead of him and honestly I don't think anyone should have been selected ahead of him he's him now of course the main goal of this video is to turn Danny Walter into the greatest player of all time but we're not going to be able to turn him into Wayne Gretzky plain and simple however I do want to try to give him the greatest career of all time he's going to be playing on the first line every single season we're going to give him every opportunity to score as many goals as possible I just want Danny Walter to have the greatest possible career considering he was drafted with the 224th overall now I'm not 100% convinced in this team right here because you know what John Carlson I'm not really sure if I agree with that selection he's 33 years old he's going to be aging out pretty quick Sean Dursey that was a great pickup I definitely like that one but you know what this team made some questionable decisions. Jake Ottinger though, that wasn't one of those mistakes. He's definitely going to be the guy for us long term. Now of course, we want to give Danny Walter the greatest career possible. In order to do that, we have to give him an elite playmaker to play alongside. Because right now, him playing alongside Brock Besser, it doesn't really make too much sense considering he's a sniper as well. So while I try to figure out which playmaker we're going to be trading for, this is how many subscribers I have right here. I'm trying to hit 62k by the end of the month, so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay, so we're making a massive move here to bring in our playmaker, and that playmaker is going to be Tivu Teravainen. He is 29 years old, but we could get a couple great seasons out of him. Now this trade makes absolutely no sense. Brock Besser and McDonough, Logan Couture over to the Pittsburgh Penguins. We just want these picks and we got to clear up these contracts because 6.7 for the next three with McDonough and $8 million for the next four years with Logan Couture. Yeah, it's definitely not the move. So I'm going to send this over to the Pittsburgh Penguins. They're saying no, but we're quite close in value. So I think a seventh rounder could be the difference. So here's the seventh rounder for the year 2025 and we're getting this deal done. So we do have to give out some extensions here. Sean Dursey, of course, you're going to be getting a big time extension. I wouldn't mind doing eight years with you. What would eight years look like i think eight years is gonna be about 6.3 million dollars that's a deal i can work with so sean dursey here's 6.3 for the next eight years that's a fantastic contract we can work with tivo teravine i was thinking you were going to want a much bigger bag than this but 4.7 million for the next six years i can definitely live with that jj moser also give you a decent bag as well how about we do 3.9 for the next three years i don't really know if you're gonna be a long-term defenseman for us i'm just gonna be completely honest and then when it comes to walter unfortunately we can't give him an extension right now but i can guarantee you he's gonna be here for the long run so this is what the team's going to be looking like for this season. It's going to be Sebastian Ajo, Teravine, and Walter. i got to make something clear right off the bat here. We are going to be bad for like three seasons. This team has a lot of changes that need to happen to it, and they're not going to be happening in one season. So don't expect us to be competing for a Stanley Cup early on. However, once we build our dynasty five years down the road, then we'll be able to turn Walter into the greatest player of all time. Now at the trade deadline, we're definitely going to be making moves, but what are those moves going to be? I have no clue yet. If we're a really good team, like top five in the entire league, then I'll make some moves to improve of us however i highly doubt that's going to be the case we're probably going to be sellers okay i got to give a ton of props to the detroit red wings because there's no reason we should be third in the entire league a 39 21 and 3 record the offense is pretty solid 3.37 goals per game but the defense 2.46 i did not think we were this good defensively i'm going to be completely honest but hey this team's showing up jake ottinger you're that guy and to make this season even better walter
Walter, 18 goals, 30 assists for 48 points, plus 22. You're having a pretty solid season. This is only your third year in the league. You know what? You're going to do some special things here. Sebastian Alho, 72 points. Tara Vinen, what a great pickup that was, 66. But I really got to know what the Otter's up to. 32 wins, 6 shots, a 925, and a 235. Nah, he's him. We got to make a couple changes to this team. Maybe improve the bottom six a little bit. And we actually might be able to win in year number one. Now, making a bunch of changes to a team that's seen this much success, definitely not the smartest thing to do. Blake Coleman, you're having a great year. However, I think Joel Farabee is just a bit better. He's going to fit the timeline here. 85 overall, he's 24 years old. You yourself, you're 32, so he's eight years younger. If we can get a deal like this done, it's going to work out for our team long term. Okay, this next move is honestly a no-brainer to me. Jonathan Taves, I have to respect the fact that you're not going to be on this team next season. You're 35 years old. However, if we can get a guy like Phil Peedle, that actually wouldn't be the end of the world for us. So Phil Peedle, welcome to the team. So the Red Wings are definitely having a great season to begin this rebuild. Fifth in the entire league here with a 48 30 and 4 record the offense still not that great but that defense it's something special now i can't really complain about the season aho just had 86 points teravine is picking up 75 but walter i am expecting a bit more but hey 58 points and 25 goals it's not really that bad of a season considering you're an 83 overall but i can guarantee you're going to be even better next season you're going to keep on getting these opportunities and that overall is going to continue to climb however joel farabee what'd you do since joining the team because you really don't have that great of a line fit i mean 12 points in 19 games isn't that bad we're probably going to bring in a new coach next next season that's going to dictate a lot because i don't really see you being a part of this team's future if this is what your line fits are because this ain't it meanwhile the otter keep doing what you're doing 40 wins six shots and 917 to 263 lead us to greatness and you better be prepared for a tough matchup in the first round we're going to be taking on the florida panthers they're one of the best teams in the entire league nothing's going to be easy for us all right so we're going to get ready for next season here i don't really care who wins the stanley cup we're not going to talk about what happened here i mean walter you did lead the team in points five points in four games but yeah that was not it that was not it in the slightest um joel Farabee, i think we're gonna trade you away you're not the reason we lost but i mean i never want to see that happen again and you might just be one of those pieces that have to move on shout out to the dallas stars though i guess they're winning the stanley cup now before we get to the draft it's time for walter to get his bag we're looking at 5.2 million for the next eight years we got to keep him on this team he's up to an 84 overall at 22 years old i can guarantee he finishes with elite potential maybe even franchise okay now that's gassing him a bit too much but walter is going to be a great player for us in the future he's a great player for us right now i don't know why i'm disrespectful respecting our man he's the face of the team all right so we're probably going to make a trade with the 25th overall pick there's two reasons for that one there's not really that many great prospects available but number two we don't have good scouts right now and they're also not doing their job they're basically not scouting anyone i have no clue why they just do a horrible job so the 25th overall is sent over to the anaheim ducks for our future first round pick ideally they completely collapse even if they don't that still gives us two first round picks to work with next season so on paper this deal makes zero sense the 57th overall over to the columbus blue jackets for the 105th and a future fourth round rounder although it doesn't make sense right now it's about to so stick on the ice is very dumb for some reason the prospect that i wanted to draft i thought was projected around the 100th overall range that is not the case he's projected around the 150th overall range so yeah we're gonna make a trade like this and then with the 153rd overall we're gonna make a pick and if you were wondering what prospect i was targeting it's corbin right here low lead potential 49 overall i was kind of banking on him having medium lead potential i'm not gonna lie so this kind of hurts i did all of that work for absolutely nothing you hate to see it so we're in the re-sign phase of I'm giving out some two-way contracts but other than that we're not really going to be doing anything here Fitzgerald Tierney Dermot and Envidson all of you guys are going to be walking all right so John Carlson there's a reason why I didn't trade you it's because for some reason in year two of every single season I do you skyrocket in trade value so John Carlson and Jane Schwartz over to the Seattle Kraken and we're getting Noah Dobson 24 year old Noah Dobson for 34 year old John Carlson and we also get rid of Jane Schwartz's contract we make moves okay Noah Dobson if I'm going to trade for you at least one extension with the team because is this ain't it three years at 12 million dollars we're gonna hold off on a noah dobson extension ideally we can lock him down to eight years at 12 million but not three all right so the next trade we're gonna be doing here is justin falk over to the la kings we're picking up siegenthaler siegenthaler he's a great defensive defenseman he's gonna be a nice addition to the team and he's also younger than justin falk the main thing i want from a deal like this is to get younger but i also don't want justin falk's contract because i've seen his regression in this game he might drop from an 85 to an 81 in just one season so we might as well trade him while we have a bit of value you they're gonna be saying no here but we're pretty close so a seventh 
rounder might be able to be the difference. So here's a seventh rounder for the year 2026. And ideally that's going to be enough. Unfortunately, they're going to be saying no, maybe a sixth and a seventh. So after adding a sixth round to the deal, hopefully this is going to be enough. The LA Kings are accepting and we just got some more money to work with. All right. So we can do a handful of one year deals here. And the first one's going to be going to Chris Tanev. I'm going to give him $5 million for this upcoming season. We'll keep him on the team for this season. And we're going to let him walk next year because we're not going to need him. We're also going to bring Adam Henrique in on a one year deal. We're going to do 3.2 million. Kasperi Kapanen could be a decent bottom six guy for us. So here's 2.6 for next season. And then to cap it all off, Barbanov, I see the potential in a guy like you. I'm actually going to do a three year deal at 2.1 million. There's been simulations where you've progressed into like an 88 overall player. I don't think that's going to happen this time around, but even if you can get up to an 83 at that cap, it's going to be worth it. Okay, now I'm not necessarily a fan of this deal for Noah Dobson, but it is going to keep him around long term here. And that's the most important thing. We're looking at 11.5 for the next eight years. Yes, it's pretty expensive, but he's 24 years old. He's going to keep on getting better. He'll have a superstar X factor next season, whatever it takes. And this is exactly why we waited on a guy like Jake Ottinger. We're doing 6.6 .6 for the next eight years. That might be the greatest deal of all time. All right, so we're going to be making two main moves here before we head into next season. It's going to be two third round picks over to the Dallas Stars, and we're going to be picking up Tomasino. Now, the reason we're doing that is because someone else is getting traded away. And the guy that we're trading away is going to be Joel Farabee. Honestly, it's just not working out. He doesn't have a good line fit in the slightest. So he's off to the Chicago Blackhawks for two second rounders. So Jake Neighbors, you're a decent bottom six piece for us. So 1.85 million, that's a pretty solid contract. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. This team is not going to be nearly as good as we were last season for a couple reasons. Number one, even though we brought in a new coach that has a great fit with Walter, he does not have a great fit with anyone else on this team. We are definitely going to struggle because of that. Defensively, though, I do believe we're a lot better. Siegenthal and Dobson are going to lead the top pairing, and then Sean Dursey and JJ Moser are going to be on the second. This is a pretty solid top four when it comes to defense. And then in between the pipes, of course, Jake Ottinger is going to be running it back, and he's going to be running it back for a handful of years. 91 overall. He's our superstar goaltender. He's going to be the guy for us. Maybe he can lead us to another postseason appearance. We're not going to talk about what happened last season. We're just going to forget it. All right, so I have a massive plan here right before we head into the trade deadline. We're going to be bringing Tomasino back for the next eight years, and there's a good reason for that. 2.7 million. That's going to be a great contract for a first line player you heard that right Thomas Senior is going to be playing some first line minutes for us because he has a fantastic fit there actually maybe not maybe he's going to be a second line player for us we might trade Jordan Eberle away and get a sniper for the left side. And the reason I'm willing to make some moves to improve this team is because we're a good team. Seventh in the entire league with a 34, 21, and 6 record. Our offense is the main thing holding us back. Defensively, we're still a pretty solid team. 3.03 goals allowed per game, but the offense definitely has to be better. And if our offense needs to be better, that means one man specifically has to be better, and that's going to be Walter. 44 points this season, 17 goals, and 27 assists. I need you to be better than this. You have all the potential in the world. You got to be that guy. Meanwhile, Jake Ottinger just keep doing your thing 27 wins three shots a 9 11 and a 265 the backup has just not been doing his job the i need you to be a bit better than this all right so i think this is probably going to be the move jordan eberly over to the boston bruins along with the second rounder we're getting marchenko 86 overall he's got an x factor he's going to be a big time goal scorer for us and he's going to help this team a ton unfortunately they're saying no to this deal which i'm very surprised about but maybe a seventh round can be the difference maker we actually don't have a seventh rounder here's the sixth rounder for the year 2026 and that's the difference marchenko welcome to the team so one thing this team's lacking right now is great line fits on the bottom six while well, taylor gratis and buke's dad they would definitely fix that issue so henrique in a fourth round is going to be sent over to the carolina hurricanes those are going to be the only moves we make here we're setting ourselves up for a deep postseason run and i think we might be able to do that this time around or at least win one game in the postseason because there's no reason we should have got swept so normally in a situation like this i would not be happy with how the detroit red wings finished the season out but a 43 30 and 9 record is actually better than what you think i mean the record itself isn't actually better than what you think but the thing that i did like marchenko what'd you do since joining the team you were an absolute stud 15 goals 11 assists for 26 points in 21 games plus nine he's adding a lot of scoring to that second line that's what we were desperately needing thomasino i'm not expecting you to do too much right now i mean you still are an 80 overall but next season you better be up to at least an 82 maybe even an 83 meanwhile walter you got to be an 86 next season you got to have some x factors if you're gonna be the guy for us i need to see that progression from you on top of those performances we also have jake ottinger 33 wins this season three shots a 908 and a 279 with these numbers right here i was expecting a few more wins but hey this team's in the postseason i can't complain about that it's time for us to go into deep 
run. It's time to get a revenge against the Ottawa Senators. I want to sweep these boys 6-0 every single game. We're not getting swept again. So after losing game one and making that five straight playoff loss to the Ottawa Senators, this team's locked in. They're winning game after game. We have a 3-0 series lead. I don't know why I said 3-0 series lead. It was the 3-1, but now it's a 3-2 series lead. So we got to show up in game number six here, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're taking that one 3-2, and we're off to the second round. So we got past the Ottawa Senators, and Walter's gained some playoff experience here. We got the Toronto Maple Leafs up next. If we're going to be winning a Stanley Cup, Walter's got to lead the way for us. And so far through the first series, he's been doing that. Okay, so, so far, three of the four wins in this series have been shutouts. We shut the Toronto Maple Leafs out once, but we've been shut out twice by them. So far, the series is tied up two games apiece. Who's going to be picking up the shutout in game number five? We're about to find that out. It doesn't look like it is a shutout, though, but we are going to be taking a 3-2 lead in this series. And ideally, we close it out here in game number six. We're off to the conference finals already, and we're only in season number two. But this is when the real hockey begins. We have the New Jersey Devils in the conference finals here. They're one of the best teams in the NHL. But you know what? I think we've been slept on. I think we're a lot better than what our record shows, and we've proved that so far. So there's only two times I ever turn the face cam on game seven or we're in the stanley cup final well that's exactly what's happening because we just swept the new jersey devils here we are the stanley cup final taking on the vegas school knights we're not getting swept here it's not looking good though we're down 3-1 in the series we got to spark a massive comeback here we've won two straight games in a row can we make it three straight unfortunately not falling in game six if we didn't suck in the first three games of this series we might have won a stanley cup but you know what walter's still incredibly young this team in general is incredibly young and they're going to be bouncing back but it just kind of sucks dropping it in game six after after making that big comeback two straight games in a row we had the momentum but we just couldn't close it out now we just need some of the big time players here to make some bigger plays walter is up to an 85 overall he's got an x factor eight goals nine assists for 17 points i just need you to pick up a couple more goals sebastian aho you did everything you could marchenko i was expecting a bit better from you minus three we can't have that tomasino though a great finish to the season for him he's only an 80 overall though so i hope he improves over the off season meanwhile the goaltending jake ottinger can't really complain here 14 wins two shots in 9 10 and 278 you did everything you could we just need the offense to produce a bit more now there's some decent prospects in the draft here but we'd have to go off the board too far and i'd rather just drop down to the 24th overall pick and also get a third rounder in the process they're gonna say no to that but we just have to give them the seventh rounder this is actually gonna be a pretty solid deal for us okay unfortunately we don't have a seventh rounder but here's the 159th that'll be enough to drop down to the 24th overall pick and the reason we drop down to the 24th overall pick is so i can get this top four potential defensemen these are the other guys that were available like we're talking about top six potential players top nine potential players and when i say top six i mean top six d potential so he's not that great of a prospect this guy right here it's not too bad and that's not going to be the only good prospect we get here because with the 31st overall another top four potential defenseman okay so this draft has no decent players in it so i want to pick up a future first round pick and we're getting from the dallas stars we're giving up two second rounders and a fourth but we're also getting a third rounder in the process here okay maybe we're not getting that third rounder but we are going to get a future first round pick from the stars so during the re-sign phase we're really not gonna have to do too much here but home i will bring you in for the next three years at one million dollars that's a pretty cheap contract for a fourth line guy everyone else though i think we're going to be letting walk here because buke's dad wants four million dollars chris tanev's going to want too much i think we're just going to be bringing back one guy i mean these guys were signed to two-way contracts but holmberg he's going to be the only main extension i'm actually taking that back because taylor radish i can do 1.5 for the next three years with you and stick on the ice actually capped again because of Melka, you're going to be coming back to be our goaltender 1.6 for the next three years that's actually a pretty solid price for a backup all right so jake neighbors ideally you were going to turn into a top six guy for us but things have changed you don't really fit on any of our lines i mean like the best line fit you do have is on the second line but it's not even that great of a fit so you and the fifth round are going to be sent over to the toronto maple leafs you're going to be picking up lucas reichel he can fit on the third line and that's exactly where he's going to be playing unfortunately this isn't going to be enough i honestly thought that package would be enough but a seventh rounder will make the difference so all of this sent over to the toronto maple leafs and we got lucas reichel now phil pedal you really don't have the greatest fit on this team but i don't think keeping you on this team makes the most sense however morgan frost you're on a cheap contract contract you can be a decent playmaker for us so welcome to the team and philip to know i have absolutely no clue why your trade values is as high as it is so we're picking up pavel zalka for you we're also going to be getting a second round pick in this deal like no disrespect to filipino but i have absolutely no clue why his trade values is as high as it is right now so l stick on the ice moments are becoming more common i gave jacob chikrin a one-year deal at 8.1 million ethan bear a one-year deal at five million dollars why was my mic muted I don't know, but it was. Now, normally I'd be a lot happier heading into this season. We were a great teammate all the way to the Stanley Cup final. The entire core is coming back here, but I do have two main issues. Morgan Frost, I acquired you because the scouts said you fit on our third line. You do not fit on our third line. You do not fit on our bottom six at all. Lucas Reichel, we all saw that you could fit on our third line. 
you do not fit on the third line you don't even fit on the fourth line the only line that you sort of fit on is the first but that's not where you're going to be playing so these are going to be the lines we're rocking here clearly the bottom six is very weak that's okay because we have a fantastic defense here we have chikrin playing on the third pairing 88 overall alongside ethan bear who's an 83 this defense is going to be able to hold it down the goaltending is going to be able to hold it down as long as the top six can score goals we'll make the playoffs so that lockdown defense has definitely been the difference maker first in the entire league with a 43 17 and 3 record at the trade deadline our offense is still pretty good though 3.67 goals for but the defense absolutely spectacular 2.83 allowed we don't really have to make too many changes to this team but i think we will make one now when it comes to the scoring on this team there's only one man i care about that's walter 22 goals 39 helpers for 61 points the dude's an absolute beast 85 overall he's got x factors we're proud of him for the goaltending numbers they might be a bit better jake onger 37 wins three shots and 915 and 267 let's go add one more player to this team and make another deep stanley cup run so this is going to be the lone move we make here at the trade deadline we're picking up sean monahan from the boston bruins he's an 86 overall allegedly he fits on the third line we all know that's not going to be the case here but he is going to be helping this team a ton this is what the team's going to be looking like after making that trade of course sean monahan doesn't fit on the third line even though the scouts said he would i should have learned from the lucas reichel experiment but you know what this is perfectly fine sean monahan morgan frost and taylor rash they're going to hold it down the third line yes yeah, so we're not really going to talk about what happened after the trade deadline here 50 27 and 5 we dropped a third in the entire league the offense took a step back defense took a step back this team just took a step back in general but hey we're still top three we can compete with the best i think the main reason for our fall off was the offense just kind of took a step back sebastian aho 78 points tara vine in 75 walter's got 73 here 26 goals 47 helpers we got to win this man of stanley cup the fact that we lost last year was an absolute disappointment but i think there's a good chance we're going to be bouncing back here because jake Ottinger, he continues to put up some great numbers 43 wins four shots and 913 to 274 it's time for us to get our revenge and who are we going to start our postseason run against well it looks like we're going to be taking on the new york islanders in the first round now this is a great way to start the postseason winning three straight games unfortunately we didn't close out in game number four but we will in game number five here and we're off to the second round so we're moving on to the second round we got the toronto maple leafs up next the toronto maple leafs they're a decent team but i can tell you right now they're not going on a deep postseason run when was the last time this team went on a deep postseason run then again we do have to remember we did do a fantasy draft so this is a completely different maple leafs team so we won the first two games in overtime but unfortunately the next two we're going to be dropping so we're off to game five here someone's going to be taking the lead in the series all right we're not losing four straight games here we're going to win in game six and we're off to game seven i told y'all that was going to happen so here we go game seven against the toronto maple leafs we got to show up big time here cole caulfield and morgan riley are going to be picking up two goals for the toronto maple leafs sean monahan's going to be picking up the lone goal for us in the second period it's going to be scoreless so the third period is going to be deciding this one we're not waking up in this game josh norris is going to be picking up another for the maple leafs and we're going to be falling three to one in game seven now normally in a situation like this i'd be very disappointed losing to the toronto maple leafs in game seven and the top guys on this team just not performing walter seven points in 12 games i need more from you and the goaltending numbers i'm assuming they're not too great jake ottinger seven wins zero shots on 9 11 and 293 these aren't the best in the world but you know what this team's going to be getting a nice upgrade at the draft because although our pick's not going to have a lot of value there is one pick that is so we got to pay attention to what's going to happen at the draft lottery here because we are going to be getting one fantastic pick and that's going to be the third overall from the dallas stars okay so the first overall pick is going to have franchise potential hypothetically what would it cost for me to get them the third overall the 27th overall and a future second round pick sent over to the san jose sharks we're actually quite close in value so we're going to be adding a franchise potential player to this team that makes absolutely no sense here's a sixth round pick as well we just got a superstar so let's make this selection right here adding a franchise franchise potential player to our team not only does he have franchise potential but he's also a gem tony welcome to the team you're gonna be playing alongside sebastian aho and walter now we're building a big three here all right so before we head into the re-sign phase we're not bringing jacob chickering back but he does have a bit of trade value here so a third rounder chickering a fourth rounder over to the columbus blue jackets we're picking up two guys on expiring deals but all i want is their first round pick for next season heading into next season we basically only have two draft picks we can work with but they're our first rounder and columbus's first round ideally columbus completely falls apart and then we'll get another top three pick so one signing during the re-sign phase it's going to lucas reichel two million dollars for the next three years reichel you don't even have that great of a fit on our team and you're gonna be saying no to this deal i mean i'll do exactly what you want but i do want to save a couple hundred thousand so maybe 2.1 for the next three you better accept this deal there we go lucas reichel we lock you down for the next three years these five guys though we're probably gonna let them all walk unless we can sign this guy to a two-way contract if we can do a two-way deal i'll bring him back but you know what we're just gonna be letting him walk so i acquired morgan for 
Frost last season. Unfortunately, he doesn't really fit on the third line. But you know where he does fit? The second line. And you know who can play left wing on the second line? Pavel Zaka. So I think you guys might know where I'm heading with this. Tifu Teravainen, you're about to be traded. So it's time to lock Morgan Frost down long term. We're doing 5.8 for the next eight years. Actually, I want to make sure he joins this team. So we're doing 6 million for the next eight years. Marchenko, so far you've been an elite player for this team. And I want to make sure you stay on the team. So here's 8.5 for the next eight. And then Pavel Zaka, we're going to extend you once we have the chance. So Tifu Teravainen, we no longer need you. But you've been a fantastic player for us. We got a replacement on the second line for you. And Kulich, you could be great for our bottom six. So I'm going to be picking up you, two third round picks, and a fourth rounder for Teravainen and they're going to be saying no to this deal. I'll take the third rounder out and then we'll be able to get this deal done. Now, I'm very surprised that they're saying no here, but a fifth rounder will be the difference. So this package sent over to Arizona and it's getting accepted. You're really saying no to this. Like, honestly, this is a completely fair deal. Here's the seventh rounder as well, because that's going to be the difference. So Jacob Chikrin, once again, we actually have enough money for you. So you're coming back to the team. We're doing 9.7 for next season. The reason I'm only doing one year deals with him is I never know who we're going to need to sign. And I don't ideally want to sign him to a two year contract at 9.7 and then have to trade him away. So 9.7 for one year, that's a good move. And then the final free agent signing here is going to be going to Jamie Alexiak. We're going to do 6.5 for next season. He's going to be a good defensive defenseman for us. So Morgan Frost, I know I made a massive deal about giving you an extension but we actually don't need you on this team anymore you'll understand once you take a look at the lineups so him and a fourth round pick is going to be sent over to the minnesota wild we're picking up rosen and frederick they're going to be two nice pieces to the bottom six unfortunately they're going to be saying no to this deal but a seventh rounder will make the difference only issue is we don't have a seventh rounder for the next two seasons so we are going to have to use a sixth rounder here but you know what that's perfectly fine we're still getting the deal done all right so i think this might be one of the best teams we've ever had sebastian aho walter and domi on the first line tony domi is going to be an elite player from us franchise potential playing alongside a great like Walter he's gonna learn quite a bit here and then you got Pavel Zako, Tomasino because he actually has a really good line fit here on the second line alongside Marchenko this is an amazing top six here and the bottom six I definitely can't complain we have some guys with some decent line fits here not the greatest in the world but you know what they can hold it down defensively we're actually in a really good spot here as well Chikorin, Dobson, Sean Dersey, Siegenthaler, Moser and Alexiak no our defense is looking absolutely fantastic I mean just even look at the line fits here plus four plus two plus one and and in between the pipes, you already know who we got. It's Jake Ottinger. He's going to be doing his thing. The Otter is that guy. But we got to make another deep postseason run here. Because the past two years, I haven't been happy with the result. And I learned my mistake from last season. We're not making any moves at the trade deadline. We're not screwing this team up. Okay, so we're struggling big time this season. We're sitting 16th with a 30, 26, and 6 record. The biggest difference, though, the offense is not really producing. Defensively, I think we actually still have a pretty solid defense here. It's not top 10 in the league. Actually, this might be top 10 in the entire league right now. So defensively, we're straight offensive wise we need to improve but i'm not too worried about the offense because it actually has been picking up lately dobson 61 points pavel zaka he's got 51 here tomasino 48 points the biggest disappointment domi sebastian aho and walter these guys have not been playing elite this season Walter, 86 overall, not too bad. Sebastian Ajo, only 45 points though. And Domi, 46. He started the season as what, an 83 and he's already up to an 89. Yeah, he's going to be a great player for us. So you know what? I'm actually not too worried about this team here. We might make a trade for the bottom six. And is this going to be the move? Potentially. Let's take a look at it. I mean, Tomas Hurdle, you're not going to fit on this team whatsoever. I don't even know why we'd make a move like this. 88 overall, you're 33 years old. You would fit on the first line, but you know what? Our first line's already set in stone. We don't need to make a deal like this. Okay, so I just offered a first and second rounder and they basically were offended by it saying oh you're not even offering close to enough so here's a third round pick as well like what are you talking about this is a good deal look at the trade values are y'all bugging or something what are you talking about so if i put jaron mccann back into this deal and i give you a first and second round pick i'm actually going to offer almost the exact same thing i'll give you this first round pick and then this third round pick so trade wise, the values are very close here. I'm going to send that over. That is very odd. I have no clue why I just changed the first round pick. But yeah, Jaron McCann, welcome to the team. So Pavel Zaka, of course, I want to keep you on this team long term because you're a great piece. We're doing 7.4 million for the next five years. Also, I think by trading for Jaron McCann, I think he's actually already under contract for next season. I didn't even realize that. But you know what? It's basically the exact same as what he's getting paid right now. And if he's going to be a good bottom six piece for us, I'm willing to pay that price. So we finally got somebody on this team that has a good fit on the third line. And Jaron McCann, he's going to be able to score some goals for us. I think he might be the missing piece here. The offense is definitely going to be flying now. Yeah, so this was not a good season for us. Not a good season in the slightest. We could not score goals to save our lives. A 41, 33, and 8 record. The offense was just not good. I mean, considering everything, we had a really good defense. Seventh in the entire league. But we just couldn't score goals. One of the worst offenses in the NHL. I mean, it's not one of the worst. I mean, it's like right in the middle of the pack here. 
But you know what? We got to be better than this. And just looking at this team, I cannot tell you where the issue was. All I know is Walters having one of the worst seasons of his career. This actually might be the worst season he's had yet. 46 points. This is the worst season of Walters' career. I don't know what went wrong this season, but we got to change things up here. We got to allow this man to succeed. Maybe it's because we didn't have a playmaker on the first line. Maybe it was because he was playing alongside Domi. But you know what? Walters should be better than this. Also, here's Jake's numbers. 32 wins, 6 shots, a 908, and a 281. But I can't get over the fact that Walter had such a bad year. He is supposed to be the guy for us and he had 46 points ain't no way so we're taking on the Ottawa Senators here and so far we've been exchanging games it's a 2-2 series so we got to win game number five here that's exactly what we're doing we're shutting out the Ottawa Senators and in game six we're going to be advancing with a nice 3-2 win so we got past the Ottawa Senators and we moved on to the second round the New York Islanders are up next I don't care where we finish in the standings this team can compete with the best in the entire league so at this point I'm just convinced the standings mean absolutely nothing because we're absolutely rolling right now as long as we don't blow a 3-1 series lead here we're going to be fine all right we're off to game seven great work team so why why would anything ever go right for this team when it matters most we're going to be choking as long as we don't choke in game seven here Pavel Zaka he's picking up a shorthanded goal he's giving us the first of the game JJ Moser's doubling down we have a 2-0 lead entering the third period and as long as we don't choke here we're going to be fine Jaron McCann he's going to be giving us another goal here and we're going to be taking this one three to one I'm so unbelievably happy we didn't choke that I really thought we were going to blow a 3-1 series lead also shout out to Sebastian Ajo leading the team in points that's how it should be I mean technically Walter should be leading the team in points but it doesn't really matter we're in the conference finals and now we have a matchup against the Columbus Blue Jackets, a 39 win team. Is it really the two wildcard teams matching up against each other? Who would have thought? And obviously the Columbus Blue Jackets can't compete with us. We're not blowing a 3-1 series lead. This isn't happening. So we're not going to game seven, but we are off to the Stanley Cup final. We got the Chicago Blackhawks to take on. The first four games of this series are going to be the most important ones. And we're winning a lot of them. We have a 3-1 series lead. We're not blowing this. We haven't blown it in the past two series. So why would we lose it now? The Detroit Red Wings, Stanley Cup champs. 16th in the entire league, by the way. And when it mattered most, the big time players are making big time plays out here. Sebastian Ajo, 27 points. Domi's picking up 24. Walter's got 16 elite potential still 86 overall i want to see this man become an 88 overall player for us low elite potential that's probably going to drop to top six pretty soon but you know what he is an elite potential player we've given him every chance imaginable but for some reason he hasn't really lived up to the hype i mean yes he has i mean he was a 70 some point player last season he just didn't play that great this season but you know who did play great jake ottinger 16 wins one shot a 920 and a 264 Let's do this again next season. We got a majority of the team coming back. So we're working on picking up a young prospect here. 77 overall to begin his career. He's already got an X factor. And it looks like the 29th overall pick is going to be enough. So not too many moves need to be made here. Beckman, you're going to be coming back for the next three years at 1.5 million. And Kulich, I really don't want to give you a long-term deal here. But I can do three years at 1.1 million. That's actually a steal for us. So Kulich, you're going to be returned to the team for the next three years. However, I'm not sure if you can be on the team next season. We might be trading you away. Meanwhile, Oleksiak, JJ Moser, Frederick, and Chikorin, all these guys are going to be walking. I mean, Chikorin, if we can bring you back, I will. This honestly isn't the worst deal in the world. So hypothetically, if you're willing to accept a deal like this, it would actually be massive for us. $6.9 million for the next six seasons. I don't think you're going to be accepting it, but if you do, that'd be massive. Yeah, you're going to be saying no here, but I think we still might bring you back because you can be an elite defenseman for us. So even $7.5 million is actually a reasonable cap hit for you. So $7.5 for the next six years, I'm going to offer that over. Hopefully he says yes. If he says no, we can still get a deal done, but we're going to be locking him down long term. All right, this is one thing that you absolutely love to see. Danny Walter, medium lead potential. If we can get this guy up to an 89 overall, that would be huge. So we do have to give out a couple of extensions here, and one of them is going to go to Siegenthaler. We're looking at 5.8 million for the next five years. That's a pretty good deal for a defensive defenseman like him. With the rest of these guys, though, I'm not really too worried about paying them right now. Maybe Rosen, though, because he didn't prove to an 84 overall, but I think we are going to wait on that. So there's one thing that this team needs right now, and that's some bottom six scoring. Tolvan, and he'd be a great player for us. 85 overall, that's what he would provide to this team. We're going to be trading away a prospect, back Beckman and Taylor Radish over to the Kings and this deal is getting accepted. Now the only issue we have right now is we have six million dollars in cap space but we need two defensemen. So I did say we need to pick up two defensemen. This is going to be one of them. A prospect in the sixth round is going to be sent over to the Winnipeg Jets. Okay so I look like an absolute clown making this deal because guess what we're trading for another defenseman with the Winnipeg Jets. I could have just done this as one deal but nope I guess we're doing it as two separate. Now I know that this video is all about Walter. The great Danny Walter selected with the last overall pick. He has top six potential now. Oh how the mighty a fallen walter a fantastic player had elite potential he was going to turn into one of the greats but unfortunately that has not happened here 26 years old and 87 overall but he's going to go down as the greatest top six potential player of all time i can tell you that right now the goat top six potential player 
that's a fact the only issue now though is we do have domi here and he's a franchise potential sniper we have to play him on the first line this guy's going to be a generational talent alongside sebastian ajo so right now danny walter is being overshadowed by these greats alongside him this video is still about danny walter he's going to be on this team for the rest of his career we're building this entire team around him he has a perfect fit on the first line i believe he's the only player on this team that has a perfect fit and then we have the defense here yeah the defense is pretty strong the goaltending is pretty strong we won a stanley cup with danny walter leading the way last season he might not have won the con Smythe, but in our hearts he won the con Smythe. so it's time for this team to win another stanley cup here with danny leading the way sebastian aho you might be the highest overall player on this team but you don't have the most heart danny walter does now i got real issues with this detroit red wings team right here the record can't complain about 36 21 4 that's great why does this team no longer score goals our defense is fantastic and that's the reason we're winning games 3.36 that's not good that's not good in the slightest now you might be thinking well that doesn't look too bad well Domi's leading the way with 54 points so far Aho's got 53 and Walter 41 points what happened to the great Walter I mean considering what he did last season these numbers aren't that bad because bro finished with 46 points last season he has 41 already this season so I mean it's not too bad but I should be expecting a bit more from these guys but man a franchise potential player he's got a superstar x factor 90 overall and he only has 54 points here at the trade deadline plain and simple you got to be better than this however what should i really do to this team we're winning games jake onger 30 wins three shouts a 9 10 to 277 we won a stanley cup last season and the team's looking even better this season i don't really think there's too much we should change here so we're going to make one deal here at the trade deadline we're picking up malkin he has a bit of money retained 1.9 million he's an 88 overall he'll probably play on the bottom six but there is the potential for him to play on the top six we might just move tomasino down to the third line they're gonna be saying no to this deal i'll include a third rounder and there should be enough to get the deal done so so we basically have zero draft picks to work with here but we're an elite team and we just got even better so this is what the forward core is going to be looking like sebastian aho domi and walter are going to be holding it down the first line then we're going to have zaka malkin and marchenko on the second and that means tovan and thomasino are going to be holding it down the third line alongside jerry mccann so the boys are going to finish the season out strong here sixth in the entire league a 40 30 and 5 record it's a pretty competitive league the difference between first and sixth right now is only seven points so we can definitely compete with the best in the entire league the offense 3.3 goals per game we got to be better than that however the defense 2.99 allowed i'll take it now malkin i really don't care what your numbers are right now what'd you do since joining the team you had 24 points in 21 games 12 goals 12 helpers but you were minus two how you had a negative plus minus i have no clue but you did sebastian aho 77 points domi's picking up 70 here while walter only has 58 points what happened to our king I mean, I know exactly what happened to our king. We brought Domi to the team and he's taking all the goals now. Walter used to be that guy, but with Domi on the team, he's taking all the shine. Meanwhile, the Otter, just keep on doing your thing. 39 wins, four shots, a 904 and a 297. Improve those numbers a little bit heading into the postseason and we're going to be fine. We have the Ottawa Senators in the first round once again. We know what it takes to beat this team, so let's go ahead and do it again. So we've been exchanging games so far. The series is tied at two games apiece. Game five is going to be a big one. We're going to be taking that in a high scoring one, seven to six in overtime and in game Game six we're looking to close this one out but unfortunately that means we're gonna have to go to game seven as we're not in a two nothing loss so here we go game seven winners off to the second round here a ton of goals are gonna be scored in the first period but no one's gonna be taking the lead here but in the second period odd was certainly taking the league they're gonna be scoring three goals here we got to spark a big comeback we're allowing seven in this game we're not gonna be scoring eight i can tell you that right now and we're gonna be losing here in game seven no nah, the fact that we acquired malkin and he picked up nine goals and two assists for 11 points in seven games and that still wasn't enough to get out of the first round Round, we got to make some changes to this team so i don't think we're gonna do too much drafting this season because the calgary flames just selected this guy i think fifth overall fourth or fifth overall he was the fourth overall pick edwin strike could be a great player for us 63 overall but most importantly he has high top six potential so he's guaranteed to turn to an 85 overall player and all it's going to cost us is a second a third and a fifth round pick honestly i think this deal is definitely worth it however through making that trade we have no draft picks this season and we only have a first rounder for next season so we got to manage our draft picks a bit better so we're not doing anything major during the resign phase i signed a couple guys to two-way contracts rosen's gonna be the only guy coming back we're qualifying him as an rfa however these two goaltenders right here they're both gonna be walking so walters jumped up to an 88 overall he still has that top six potential though but we have to have a discussion about walter because he is the weirdest sniper i've ever seen in my life so just looking at him like he's got some decent passing ability here an 88 passing an 88 puck control 90 hand eye so he can move the puck a little bit his sense is pretty solid 88 offensive awareness and he's got some good 
discipline, decent poise, but his actual shooting abilities aren't necessarily that great for a sniper. He has an 86 wrist shot power and slap shot power, then an 87 slap shot accuracy and wrist shot accuracy. For being a sniper, these are not good stats. However, it gets very strange. Defensively, he's a decent enough defender. Skating wise, he's one of the fastest players in the league. This man can fly a 97 speed, 97 excel, 97 agility. However, he's a very physical player that knows how to fight. He has an 81 overall fighting skill. But the thing about Walter, he never fights. This man has never been in a single fight in his entire career, but yet he has an 81 overall fighting attribute. He's really aggressive, body checks a lot. He's really strong, but these aren't really the stats you would expect to see in a sniper. But enough yapping. We got to make some trades here because we have to clear up some cap space because Domi needs an extension. And Domi's not going to be doing us any favors here. He wants 10.9 million. We have 5.2 to work with. Jacob Chikorin, thank you for playing with this team, but we're trading you away. All right, we might begin one of the greatest deals of all time done here. Jacob Chikorin sent over to the Winnipeg Jets. We're going to get this medium lead potential prospect. He's an 84 overall, but most importantly, he can fit on the third line and he's also under contract for the next three years. I don't think Jacob Chikorin himself is going to be enough. Never mind. Yes, he is. So not only were we able to do Jacob Chikrin's contract. We brought in a medium lead potential player. He's going to help the bottom six a lot, but now we have the money to bring back Domi. So Domi, welcome back to the team here. We're going to be doing $10 million per year for the next eight years. This is actually an amazing deal considering you have franchise potential and you're going to keep on getting better. You're probably going to get up to a 93 overall. So that's a good contract for a 93 overall. No question about it. Okay. We're all looking at this contract, right? 1.8 million for Dougie Hamilton for one year. If we did two years, I know he's 35 years old, but even still, we're going to do two years at three million million dollars here i think that would be enough to bring dougie hamilton to this team actually let's do two years at 2.5 million this is dougie hamilton we're talking about i know he's 35 years old he's gonna decline really quick but even still two years at 2.5 million he's an 88 overall he's 35 years old i'm not even worried about his age two million dollars that is a move also i do want to point out there's two medium lead potential goaltenders in free agency that didn't sign to any team so i'm giving both of them a contract ideally they sign with our team and then they're going to be good trade pieces also we do need a backup for this season so Charlie Lindgren, here's 1.5 for this season. You're going to be a good backup for us. St. Louis legend, by the way. All right, so Rosen, we just don't have the money to bring you back here. So I'm going to send you over to the Colorado Avalanche and we're going to pick up a second and seventh round pick. Dougie Hamilton, welcome to the team. 2.5 million. That is the greatest deal of all time. So this team's in a really good spot. Just look at the line chemistry. Plus four, plus three, plus three. We're not getting a boost here, but these guys can play their role. Walter, you're a sniper that can't shoot. You're going to be holding it down alongside Aho and Domi. I haven't really processed the fact that you're a sniper that can't really shoot. Like your shooting attributes are only four stars. That doesn't make sense. Like your skating, that's amazing. Five stars, almost 97s across the board there. Your senses are pretty good, but when it comes to actually shooting, you're not that guy. The defensive core here isn't that. That bad i mean dougie hamilton has dropped to the third pairing as he is an 84 overall but he's got a decent enough line fit here and he's dougie hamilton superstar x factor still he's gonna be able to do his thing here meanwhile the goaltending jake ottinger we know what you can do in the postseason it's time for you to step up when it matters most also i've encountered the glitch where i can't trade players so rosen i cannot ship you out here but thankfully i didn't ship you out earlier because now we're getting two second round picks for you that's huge as long as we get those two second round picks and it looks like we did now the team is looking so good there was no point stopping at the trade deadline we're flying first in the entire league with a 57 16 and 9 record the offense is looking absolutely fantastic this season and so is the defense everything about this team is perfect right now as long as we step up in the postseason when it matters most we're going to be in a good spot and thankfully the scoring is stepping up this season sebastian aho 95 points domi he's going to be picking up 75 walter what is this sebastian aho picked up 95 points after having a couple bad seasons and here you are picking up 60 points exact top six potential now but i'm expecting at least 82 points from you i'm going to keep it a thousand you were not living up to the hype. Neither is the second line. I don't know what these boys are doing right here, but this ain't it. Also, Dougie Hamilton, 50 points as a third pairing guy. That was definitely an amazing pickup for us. Meanwhile, the goaltending numbers, Jake Ottinger, 48 wins, three shots, a 9-11 and a 276. It all comes down to this, the postseason, where this team needs to step up. We're not losing in the first round again. We got the Columbus Blue Jackets to take on and a potential second round matchup could be the Ottawa Senators. I want to get revenge against them. So the boys are absolutely flying right now. A 3-1 series lead against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Unfortunately, we're going to be dropping game number five, but we're going to respond to game six. We're not doing this. We're not blowing a 3-1 series lead. So here we go. Game seven against the Columbus Blue Jackets. There's no reason we should be in this position right now. We have a 2-1 lead entering the third period. We can't choke here. And thankfully, we're not. We're going to be picking up another two goals and we're off to the second round. This was way too close. There's no reason we should have gotten to this point. So the rematch is here. The Detroit Red Wings taking on the Ottawa Senators. I know for a fact the Ottawa Senators can't compete with us. We're about to dominate this team. Then again, the Columbus Blue Jackets 
brackets couldn't compete with us and look what happened there so i guess anything's possible okay so we won two straight games to start this series and everything was looking fantastic for this team but then the detroit red wings are collapsing here this is not happening we're not losing four straight games we're off to game seven once again what's going on with this team best in the entire league would we win 56 games 57 games yeah this team was elite and we're just not showing up when it matters most walter i need a historic game from you so bad to back game sevens here and this team needs to show up so far no goals have been scored in this game it's all going to come down to the third period who's going to be stepping up when it matters most it looks like it's going to be us back to back goals from the red wings and we're off to the conference finals thank god this team didn't choke so we've struggled against every team so far now we got the devils up next i don't care how many wins the devils had they could have had three wins all season Season, they're still going to find a way to compete with us so we better be prepared we got ourselves a 3-1 series lead but we're known for choking these ideally we don't do it this time and thankfully we're not we're off to the stanley cup final well 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 who would have thought this would happen in the year 2029 it's time for the rematch the detroit red wings taking on the vegas golden knights the first time detroit ever made the stanley cup final with walter we took on the vegas golden knights and unfortunately we lost in that matchup but things are different. Walter's a different player now, and he's ready to lead this team to greatness. Okay, yeah, so this was a pretty quick series. A nice sweep over the Vegas Golden Knights, and we won the Stanley Cup. Walter, you must have been lighting the lamp. So when it came to the playoffs, who was stepping up for this team? Definitely not Walter. Where is this man? What did he do? He was out here doing cardio. He scored one goal. A sniper scored one goal here. Now, I understand you're playing alongside Sebastian Ajo. He's picking up a fair amount of goals here. Domi's also picking up a fair amount of goals. But even still, you're only scoring one goal. One singular goal here. Ain't no way. Meanwhile, the Otters putting up great numbers. 16 wins, one shot, a 921 to 253. I can't really celebrate this Stanley Cup here, though. Because Walter was not that guy. He was actually a massive disappointment. But you know what? He's still got his second Stanley Cup of the video. We're going to win him a couple more. And he's going to go down as one of the greats the greatest top six potential player of all time we already know that's a fact so as we know we don't really have too many picks in the draft here but we do have the 52nd overall and that's going to turn into a mediumly potential left winger i believe this was one of the picks that we got from the dallas stars so shout out to dallas so nothing really notable is happening during the resign phase we are going to be bringing back two guys and some two-way contracts but outside of that this team's looking the exact same we are going to be losing lucas reichel i guess i should point out that so when it comes to the resign phase nothing's going to be happening here all these guys are going to be walking. Unless you're an RFA, you're going to be leaving this team. That's just how it is. I mean, we will sign this player right here because he is a rookie. So we're just going to sign him to his rookie deal. But everyone other than that, you're going to be walking if you're not an RFA or we can't sign you to a two-way contract. So we don't really have to do too many changes to this team because we did just win a Stanley Cup. But Clark Caswell and Backer, they could be two nice additions to the bottom six here. Caswell, he's a 79 overall, but he fits on the bottom six and he'd be a good playmaker. And then we'll bring in Backer. He can play on the fourth line. He's a good sniper for us. What we're going to include in this deal is one of these mediumly potential goaltenders we picked up in free agency last year. They've got a bit of trade value so we should be able to get a trade like this done pretty simple there we go that's all we're doing so we're only going to make one so we're going to make two free agent signings here maki samoskevich could be a good fourth line guy for us here's 2.5 million and then we need a backup goaltender i really don't care who we get this guy's 28 years old and he has starter potential so i mean this isn't actually that bad of a deal i'll do two years at 1.3 million so after winning a stanley cup not only were we able to keep the entire core here but i think we're actually in a better position plus two boost on the fourth line plus two on the third plus three on the second and a plus four boost on the top line and on top of that although the defense is looking very similar corbin's gonna be jumped into the lineup here 23 years old he has top four potential i take that back he's got low elite potential he might be able to develop into a decent defenseman especially if he's gonna be playing some top line minutes alongside noah dobson we already know who our goaltender is that's jake ottinger he's won us a couple stanley cups so far it's time for us to keep on winning also walter you're 28 years old you're entering your prime here you're not the greatest shooter in the world but if you're not going to be able to score goals here start picking up a lot more assists because you are playing alongside domi and that man knows how to score goals so pick up an assist or two all i'm asking is 82 points in 82 games it really shouldn't be that difficult with the amount of talent on this team so we're at the trade deadline of course detroit's at the top of the league here a 43 14 and 7 record the offense is doing fantastic this season 3.92 walter you better have 82 points right now i know we're at the 64 game mark but you better have 82 points now obviously i'm not expecting walter to have 82 points but he's just shy of a point a game right now he's got 63 points in 
64 games. This might be one of the best seasons you've ever had. Well, it's the best season you've had in a very long time. Currently, it's the second best season you had in your career, and you're probably going to surpass the 73 point total right here. So, Walter, it's time for you to complete history here 82 points in 82 games. Also, I'm not making any trades. We're 43, 14, and 7. Don't want to mess this up. We also really don't have any assets to trade away. So yeah, let's just rock with what we have. Unfortunately, we are going to drop to second in the entire league once the season wrapped up here. But a 54, 18, and 10 record, I can't complain about that. That's pretty solid. The scoring is looking great on this team, and so is the defense. This might be the best defense in the entire league here. Actually, it's not going to be the best defense because St. Louis is superior. But I mean, second in the entire league will definitely take it. Okay, Walter, what is this? 71 points you had 63 points at the 64 game mark after that you did absolutely nothing you picked up eight points in the final 18 games you're an absolute disappointment i can't believe you just did this jake ottinger 45 wins six shouts 915 to 262 this team's got to bounce back walter since you didn't pick up a point a game in the regular season you have to do it in the postseason here and if you're picking up a point a game it only counts if we make it all the way to the stanley cup final and win because i know for a fact this man was about to put up eight points in six games and we would lose in the first round that doesn't count it has to be during a stanley cup run so obviously the red wings aren't going to be able to be stopped here we have a 3-1 series lead and we're closing it on game five five to two and we're off to the second round so we've made it to the second round the ottawa centers are trying to get their revenge against us but we already know that's not going to happen i want to match up against pittsburgh in the conference finals though the top two teams battling it out that would be must see hockey but we can't sleep on ottawa because we know this team can beat us so obviously if we're matching up against the ottawa centers they're going to be putting up a solid fight against us we split the series so far so game five is going to be a big one we dropped that one of course we did because why would this team ever show up when it matters most we got to respond in game six though all right let's get ready for next season we're not going to talk about what happened here we lost to the ottawa senators walter what'd you do in the postseason though that's what i'm curious about this video is all about walter and i need this match to perform when it matters most 11 points in 11 games here you technically were a point a game but we lost in the second round so it doesn't really count also the top guys on this team did not perform domi you had 15 points in 11 games but you were plus zero I guess you weren't plus zero and you weren't minus zero. You were just zero. I mean, this right here, you see this right here? You love to see it. You really do. All right. So basically our scouts did absolutely no scouting around the 27th overall range, which is absolutely fantastic considering we're a great team. So I don't want to risk our draft pick and that guy turns out to be a bottom six potential player. However, McKenzie from the Tampa Bay Lightning, he was just drafted the ninth overall pick and he's already a 78 overall. He could jump into the lineup immediately for us and that's exactly what's going to be happening. I'm going to try to get this draft pick as well, but they're going to be saying no give me a fourth rounder or something maybe a fourth rounder for the year 2031 i feel like we should be able to add that into the deal there we go we got this trade complete and with this also being a very weak draft class right here we're going to make some trades and we're picking up some future first round picks. All right. So the first thing we're doing, the 50th overall pick and the 59th overall pick are being sent over to the Edmonton Oilers. And we're going to try to pick up a future first round pick. Unfortunately, they're going to be saying no, but I'll give you a fourth rounder as well. We're getting a first rounder from the Edmonton Oilers. So we're actually doing another deal with the Edmonton Oilers here, but it's just through trade finder. A sixth and seventh round picks can be shipped over and we're getting a future third round pick. So we picked up a handful of guys last season and now it's time to bring them all back. Mackie Samuskevich, we're starting with you 2.5 for the next two years. Backer, you were also a solid fourth line guy for us i want to keep you around long term here can we do five years at 1.6 million i think that's an incredible deal for us and then clark caswell you were playing some big minutes for us as well last season we're going to do five years as well but this one's going to be at 1.1 million our fourth line is going to be set for the next couple of years and at a pretty cheap price too all right so we qualified these two rfas right here now it's time to trade them away we're just going to use trade finder here we can get two fourth rounders i'll definitely take that from the arizona coyotes never mind we have this glitch where i can't trade rfas so yeah we're gonna have to hold on to them and then we'll trade them at the beginning of next season now Lackanen, i did not think you'd turn into this good of a player but at 20 years old you're an 89 overall here's 8.2 million for the next six seasons you're gonna have a top six role sooner than you think i also do want to bring back corbin but this is the contract he's looking for that's not happening for an 82 overall even if you have elite potential i don't really want to do that right now all right so we actually have nine million dollars in cap space i didn't think we would have this much cap space that's why i didn't resign tovanen but now that we do have the money we might as well use it six million dollars for one season do i have to give you six million dollars absolutely not I'm just going to give you a bag because why not? So at this point, nothing's going to stop Walter. He's up to an 89 overall. He's got a few more X factors this time around. Of course, the team's looking absolutely fantastic. Jared McCann, he only has a few years left in him, maybe one. We're probably going to end up trading him away next season because he's going to keep on declining here. His days are numbered. That's just the way it goes. Defensively, Sean Dursey is going to be playing some first line minutes alongside Noah Dobson this season as they get a plus four boost. We have a young rookie entering the lineup here to 79 overall. He's going to be playing alongside Siegenthaler and 83 overall. They're getting a plus two boost. 
while our third pairing is going to feature Corbin. We could technically play him on the top pairing, and that would be better for line fits across the board. But Sean Dursey, I want you getting a ton of minutes this season. We already know what the goaltending is looking like. Of course, the Otters going to be leading the way here, 91 overall. That's not going to be changing anytime soon. This team's going to see a lot of success once again, and we're going to be competing for a Stanley Cup, that's for sure. And I really don't expect this team to be making any trades here. However, we are going to simulate up to the trade deadline, and depending on what happens to Jared McCann, we might be making one trade. If he drops to a 79 overall, we're going to be packing him up real quick. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be making any trades at the trade deadline because I was not paying attention, and I accidentally simulated through the trade deadline. So yeah, we got to rock with what we have. Okay, so I'm actually very surprised that our record has us in sixth in the entire league because we had 51 wins this season. I thought 51 wins would definitely be enough for top three, but apparently not. Sixth in the entire league here. The offense is looking pretty solid, and so is the defense. Can't really complain. I would like below three goals per game, but you know what? 3.01, I'll definitely take it. Now, Walter, were you a point a game this season? Ain't no way you finished with 79. An absolute disappointment from Danny Walter, 89 overall. He's got three X factors, but he's finishing with 79 points here. Why'd you do that to me? You just got to pick up three more points and then you're a point a game. But you just can't be that guy, can you? Meanwhile, the Otter, 46 wins, five shots, a 905 and a 280. Keep on doing your thing. I also realized there's a few more games left in the NHL. So let's just simulate those and then see what happens in the playoffs. So now that the season's officially wrapped up, we know who we're going to be taking on the first round. It's going to be the Washington Capitals, but I'm looking at the second round. You already know who I want to take on, the Tampa Bay Lightning, because I'm sick and tired of losing to Ottawa. Now, this is a great start to the postseason, a quick sweep over the Washington Capitals. Okay, Detroit, whatever you do, do not lose to the Tampa Bay Lightning, because they actually beat the Ottawa Senators, and now we have to take them on. I can't request to take on the Tampa Bay Lightning, and then we proceed to lose to them. We got to beat Tampa, and we got to make it to the conference finals. Yeah, so we're just not going to talk about this playoff run here here we're gonna make a few small changes to this team seven to one in game five that is a bad way to go out that's just bad plain and simple also i know for a fact walter's not over a point a game because zock is leading the team and he has 10 points in nine games oh this entire team just looked bad the plus minuses yeah we're not even gonna discuss those meanwhile the goaltending numbers yikes those are numbers for sure no but real talk i'm not gonna make too many changes to this team because we did win 51 games and we were sixth in the entire league so if it ain't broke don't fix it Shout out to the Edmonton Oilers, they're Stanley Cup champs. Also, I just remembered we have somebody's first round pick. I can't remember who it is. It was Edmonton. We have Edmonton's first round pick. That doesn't have value. So I don't like using first round picks on prospects that are just going to have top six potential. I want medium lead potential players or franchise potential. So I'm going to send the 26th overall pick over to the Columbus Blue Jackets for their first round pick for next season. And we're going to keep on picking up first round picks here. The next one's going to be from the Minnesota Wild. I thought a fourth rounder added into this deal was going to be enough. Maybe two fourth rounders will be. All of this sent over to the Minnesota Wild and we're getting this deal done. Now we went off the board a little bit for this pick. He was projected 105th overall. We selected 90th overall he's a medium leap potential goaltender that was also a gem so i want to make sure i brought him to the team surprisingly that goaltender selected in the third round wasn't the only medium leap potential goaltender we selected because we also got another one 96th overall so i guess we didn't really have to go off the board for that gem because we're getting another one anyway now right after selecting that medium leap potential goaltender we're actually going to be trading him away with all these picks right here and we're getting a first round pick from the vegas golden knights four first round picks to work with next season we're going to make some big moves so we're qualifying two rfas during the re-sign phase everyone else is walking and the main reason for that we have a ton of players we have to bring back next season and one of them's walter and we got to give him a bag okay so we got a handful of guys to bring back here jaron mccann i can tell you right now you're not coming back to the team 35 years old but you are an 85 overall somehow you got a bit better but before we do anything here Walter, it's time to give you the big extension. And here's what we're going to be paying Walter. I mean, he deserves every single penny. We're going to be doing $9 million for the next six seasons. And I'm going to be honest, I'm looking at a lot of the ages of these players right here. Like Sebastian Ajo, he's 33 years old. His trade value is at its highest right now. Sean Dursey, his trade value is also at its highest. Pavel Zaka, his trade value is just going to keep on going down. He's 34 years old. He's going to be declining pretty quick here. I think it's about time we make some big time trades. We haven't done those in a while. Like looking at Sebastian Ajo's trade value, we could get like three elite players all right so sebastian aho you were an incredible player for us i can't thank you enough for everything you accomplished here but you know what we're going to change things up here and logan cooley welcome to the team you're going to be playing some first line minutes alongside two amazing snipers you're going to have domi you're going to have walter and in the process we're also picking up a second and third round pick this deals the beginning of the breakdown here but we're going to be better and that's a fact but now that we've traded for logan cooley we also got to make sure he's coming back to this team and we're going to be doing nine million per year for the next eight years a pretty solid contract for him 
So Sean Dursey, we're doing a bit of a retool here. You're 32 years old. I would like to sign you long term, but you are going to be declining in the next couple of years. However, we could bring this guy in from the San Jose Sharks. 88 overall, 22 years old. He's already got some X factors. He's going to be a big time player for this team. They're going to be saying no to this deal right here. But you know what? We got draft picks we can work with. So here's a second rounder from the Florida Panthers. And I think that's going to be enough to get this deal done. They're going to be saying no, but a seventh rounder will be the difference. So here's a 2033 seventh round pick and we're making this trade happen. Now, bro was an RFA, so we are going to have to give him a deal right now. And I don't really know how it's going to work for the salary cap situation here, but this is actually a really good deal. We're going to do eight years at $7 million. For a mediumly potential defenseman who's an 88 overall, this deal is incredible. So Siegenthaler, you're aging out here. You've dropped on 83 overall. You're not the player you used to be at 34 years old. So we're going to ship you out along with the first round pick that's ours over to the Vancouver Canucks. And we're going to be picking up this defenseman right here. 86 overall. He's a good defensive defenseman. He's going to help keep the puck out of our net. We probably should have asked for a second rounder back in exchange, but you know what? A deal is a deal and we're moving on. And then that defenseman we just picked up, we're going to give him a bit of an extension here, 7.5 for the next five years. I feel like that's not too bad for him. He's an 86 overall who has medium lead potential. I can't complain about that. So we are going to need a backup here in Valley. If we can lock you down for the next four years at 1.3 million. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to give him exactly what he wants because he's declined back-to-back -back offers now. Here's 7.5 for the next date. By rights, you should be accepting this deal. If you don't, I'll give you exactly what you want. I mean, it's only 400K difference, but accept this deal right here so we can move on. So is he gonna be accepting this deal? No, he's not, he's saying no. It's time to give him exactly what he wants. So by Noral, I'm gonna give you exactly what you want here. I'm actually gonna give you a bit more. We're just doing an eight by eight to keep it simple. So there you go. We're locking him down for the next eight years. We're keeping him on this team till he's 30 years old, but I don't think we're gonna need all eight years. I can't see Walter playing another eight. Now we did make a couple of changes to this team, but I still think we're in a great spot. Logan Cooley's joined the team. Walter's up to an 89 overall. He's got a ton of X factors. Domi's a 92. The top line's looking great. The second line is looking okay. I mean, Pavel Zaka, 85 overall. He's not coming back next season. Jeremy McCann, he's not going to be coming back next season. We just want to write out their contracts. We got some young guys entering the lineup this season. Dowd, he's 21 years old, medium lead potential. He's going to turn into a decent player for us. So I'm not worried about the fact that we have a 78 overall on our third line. Ideally, I would like this guy playing some top minutes for us. But you know what? We get a plus five boost on that line. But then this line right here is not looking that good. I mean, I guess we could just do something like this yeah these are the pairings that we're going to be rocking with and then to cap it all off who would have thought we would see this jake andre in between the pipes we're just going to keep on bringing this man back until we can anymore he's still 90 overall he continues to dominate why change things up so the trade deadline no surprise we're one of the top teams here with a 38 22 and 3 record the offense is flying but the defense does need to be a bit better and with the defense flying what is walter looking like this season okay what's going on my guy 49 points only 49 points from walter what an absolute disappointment. Also, the top line is not doing that great. Walter plus three, Logan Cooley plus nine, and then Domi plus nine. I thought putting a playmaker alongside these two snipers right here would have been the move, but I guess not. But you know what? We're going to trust in the process here. Jake Ottinger, these numbers aren't it. I just noticed your goals against is above three. What happened to the goaltender that used to dominate the league? Because this right here, it ain't it. Then again, if you could turn it up for the postseason, I'm not going to complain. Okay, we're making a trade that makes absolutely no sense. But none of these first round picks have a ton of trade value right now. But you know who could help the team that will also help the defense? And we already know has a good line fit on this team. Sean Dersey. Sean Dersey, welcome back to the Detroit Red Wings. We got to bring you back for one last Stanley Cup run. I understand I traded Sean Dursey away at the beginning of the season, but I traded him away for a medium leap potential defenseman that we're going to be keeping on the team long term. So long term, that trade works out for us. But short term, I mean, we're just making moves out here. This team's going to be good. I don't know what I'm talking about. So once again, we're having a great season. Okay, we should have traded that Minnesota pick away because they just won 60 games. We're seventh in the entire league, another 50 win season. If we're winning 50 games, then I got nothing to complain about. I don't care where we finish in the standings. 50 wins is 50 wins. You're a great team if you're getting that match. Any. Now, Walter, how'd you finish the season out? 66 points here. I'm going to be honest, that's still a massive disappointment. You should be doing better than this. Like, look at Marchenko, 82 points. When was the last time this man picked up 82 points? I don't know if he's ever picked up 82 points before. Nope, he's having a career season at 31 years old. This is what you should be doing, Walter. But instead, you're just letting everyone down. Meanwhile, the Otter, yeah, these numbers this ain't it. However, the postseason's where it matters most, and now it's time for the boys to step it up. They haven't stepped it up the past couple years. We've had a lot of disappointing exits, but we got the Pittsburgh Penguins first, the Ottawa Senators second, and then the Tampa Bay Lightning in the conference finals. Now, we're a 50-win team. Of course, we're going to be competing with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Those are words I would like to use to describe what just happened here, but nope, we lost in five games to the Pittsburgh Penguins, a wild card team. What's going on here? Why is this team all of a sudden just being a complete disappointment? Walter, four points in five games. That's not even too 
too bad. Like you had a decent postseason run here. We're losing a couple guys over the offseason. Okay, Jake Ottinger, what are you doing here? I was hyping you up at the beginning of the season saying you've been that guy for us, but I might be trading you away because I don't want to see those numbers ever again. But as I was about to say, we're going to lose a couple guys. Pavel Zaka, you're going to be leaving the team here. Jared McCann, you're going to be leaving the team. We've got a bit of money we can work with in free agency. Picking up Sean Dursey, that was a massive waste of time. Bro was minus four while picking up three points. I got nothing else to say. Okay, so the draft was an absolute bust for us. We didn't get a single good prospect. On top of that, nothing really is going to be happening here during the re-sign phase. Of course, Sean Dursey's not going to be coming back to the team. Jared McCann's not coming back to the team. Pavel Zaka's not coming back to the team. We're losing a handful of guys. Guys. Also, I did pick up a future sixth round pick from some team. I forget who it was. We got Ty Cartier in that deal as well. I'm not going to be re signing him, but he was just included in the package. Okay, so this 22 year old right here, top four potential. I'm going to turn him into a top four potential defenseman for us. So here's 2.8 for the next eight years. That contract's going to age very well for us. So I guess Sean Dursey is actually still on this team because we have him under contract. I did not know this. But you know what? I don't really want to pay Sean Dursey at 33 years old, $7.4 million. So I'm going to trade him away. Then again, do we just hold on to Sean Dursey for this season? Because then we have our six defensemen that we need. We could just hold on for him. And then we just got to sign two guys of free agency. Two guys to play on the bottom six. I think we might just do that. Because I mean, defensively, we're actually not that bad of a team. Also, before we get ahead of ourselves here, Noah Dobson, you are one of the best defensemen on this team. So here's 11.5 million for the next three years. Okay, we've made a lot of bad moves in the past couple of years. And I'm very self-aware of that. And I think this is the guy we got from the San Jose Sharks. Maybe it wasn't, I don't really recall. But now we're sending him back to the Vancouver Canucks. Ironically, he was actually drafted by the Vancouver Canucks. I don't know what we're cooking up here, but we're getting this guy. He's an 84 overall. Give me a second round pick as well. We are making moves out here. I don't know if they are good moves. I don't think they're good moves. Honestly, I think I'm just making very bad moves. But we're going to get rid of this contract as well because I'm not really that big of a fan of it. Yeah, moves have been made this season. Are they for the betterment of this team? I don't think so, but moves have certainly been made. So we're going to make a couple moves during free agency. Akuratu, we're bringing you to the team one year at $3 million. Not Aturatu, Akuratu. I'm assuming it's his brother or something. I'm assuming there's some relation there. And then we'll also bring in Frondell. We're going to do two years at $2.2 million. Now it's very clear that we're not the team we used to be. Walter, he's an 89 overall with a ton of X factors. Is he going to get a superstar X factor by the end of his career? I highly doubt it. He's 31 years old. If anything, he's going to be declining soon. He's going to be losing a couple of these. The top six is still really good. There's no question about that. The bottom six, yeah, I have a lot of questions about this marchenko i think you're going to be gone sooner than later here you're 32 years old you're going to start declining but then we're going to be giving this guy some minutes he'll develop into a nice sniper and he's basically going to replace you however until then we're going to be rocking with this right here now even though the bottom six is a bit weak the defensive core here is pretty strong we have three great defensemen we can rely on four if you include milson who's going to be on the third pairing i mean i can't really complain about this defense right here i would like milson to play some second pairing minutes but he has basically no line fit there so we're going to be rocking with this and jake ottinger I'm going to tell you right now, this is your final season with the team. 33 years old, you're an 88 overall. I want you to bounce back big time from what you did last season. We're not going to discuss what happened last season, but you got to bounce back. Now, I'm not going to lie. This might be the worst season I've ever witnessed in my life. We're first in the entire league. That's great. The offense is good. Defense is good. Can't complain about any of these things. Now, Walter, what did you do, do this season? Point a game? Over a point a game? Nope. 81 points in 82 games, one point shy of a point a game. How could you do this to me? Walter, you're supposed to be the savior of this team. You're supposed to be the man that leads the way. 81 points in 82 games. I can't believe you just did that to me. Jake Ottinger, keep doing your thing. This guy's actually been holding it down as the backup. Do we make him the starter next season? Probably not. But man, Walter, how could you do that to me? Less than a point a game by one single point. The only way you can make this up to me is be over a point a game in the postseason, lead this team to a Stanley Cup, and win another Con Smythe. Because I know for a fact that every Stanley Cup we've won, you've got the Con Smythe because you're that guy. Now, who would have saw this one coming? The team being an absolute disappointment and splitting the series with the Montreal Canadiens, we're not losing in the first round. We're winning game six and we're off to game seven. This isn't happening. Danny Walter, six points in six games so far. I need you to pick up some more points here. Ideally, just pick up a hat trick here, lead us to greatness and lead us to the second round. The fact that this team right here is not guaranteed the second round doesn't sit right with me. Okay, now we're guaranteed the second round. We have a 5-1 lead. We almost lost that game. Ain't no way this team choked like that. 
Let's just calm into Detroit L's right now. So we moved on to the second round after going to game seven. That definitely shouldn't have happened. We have the Florida Panthers. We've made a couple moves with the Florida Panthers over the last couple of years. So I don't believe they're as strong as they used to be. However, who truly knows how good we are because we did go to game seven against the Montreal Canadiens. So we might be frauds. Okay, so we dropped the first two games, but of course we're gonna respond in the next two. I don't know why I said, of course we're gonna respond. We don't normally win games like this. We don't normally win four straight games and make the conference finals against the New York Rangers. And then we don't normally win another four straight after that and make it to the Stanley Cup final in a sweep. For a second, I actually thought that's exactly what was going to happen. We won three straight, but you know what? Five is going to send us to the Stanley Cup final. So here we go. The Stanley Cup final. We're taking on the Winnipeg Jets here. Detroit's got to come out hot here. We got to score some goals and that's exactly what we're doing. We have a 3-1 series lead and in game five, we're picking up another six goals. Danny Walter, what'd your postseason look like? Because I know you led the way. And the GOAT finally did it. The GOAT of all GOATs, Danny Walter. Walter 23 points in 23 games nine goals 14 assists he finally did the impossible now if you were to retire at 31 years old and retire at the top I would not be against that but I believe this team can win some more Stanley Cups Jake Ottinger thanks for the Stanley Cup but you're not coming back next season we're bringing in a replacement Okay, seriously, what are we doing here? I have auto scouting on, and this is what y'all are doing. This is where I should be. Okay, hold on. I take it back. We might have been cooking here. If this guy has mediumly potential, then we might have been cooking. I'm about to take everything bad I said back. If this guy turns out to have mediumly potential, maybe the scouts know what they're doing. Okay, the scouts do not know what they're doing. Okay, so since this draft is so bad and our scouts refuse to do anything, I'm picking a second and third rounder up from the Anaheim Ducks in exchange for all these picks right here. They're going to be saying no because it's a bit low. I'll give you a seventh rounder for next season and we'll get this deal done. So here's a seventh rounder from 2034. And just like that, we got a second and third rounder. Okay, so we got to bring two guys back here. The first is going to be Tomasino. We're doing 6.5 for next season. And in straight, I believe you can be a top six player for us. I'm going to pay you accordingly 4.75 for the next eight. So I'm happy to say Strait's going to be accepting the deal here. Tomasino, I really want you to accept this. This is the most I'm willing to do though. We're doing 6.75 for the next three years. If you say no to this contract, we're not going to be bringing you back. So thankfully, Tomasino is going to be sticking around on the team, but we still have a couple more guys to bring back. And then the next move I'm doing here is going to be going to Dowd. We're doing 3.5 for the next four. So Jake Ottinger is not going to be coming back to the team next season. But you know what? We're going to be perfectly fine. We're bringing and Matthews he's an 83 overall medium leap potential and we're gonna be able to sign him to a three-year deal at like 2.9 million we don't really have too much cap space to work with so if we can get a cheap goaltender that's going to continue to improve that's definitely what we're going to do so here's the deal we're doing with Matthews 2.9 for the next three years you're not the greatest goaltender in the world I'm actually very nervous for what's going to happen this season because we don't have a superstar goaltender we can rely on we have to rely on an 83 overall okay so we're just going to make a trade like this Marchenko over to the Montreal Canadiens we're picking up Backstrom top six potential he's an 87 overall he can play some bottom six minutes for us i think we should be able to get something else alongside and maybe a fourth rounder or something we'll see if we can get a third rounder i don't think we're going to be able to they're going to say no to that we're just going to do one for one here it's a pretty fair trade we get the guy we want here and then we will and then we're going to make one free agent signing i think since we cleared up that marchenko money we can bring in one guy in free agency that's going to be jack mcbain he's going to play somewhere on the bottom six so the team won a stanley cup but we lost some players because of it this team's not looking as good as it used to be, but you know what? We have Walter, and all you need is Danny Walter. This man is just built different, and this season, I'm calling it right now, he's going to be picking up 82 points in 82 games, a point a game player. He's going to certify himself as one of the best players in the game. We're not going to talk about the defense because that's definitely taken some steps back, but Matthews, that was an incredible pickup for us, 85 overall at 23 years old, and we have him under contract for the next three years at 2.9 million. That's a solid contract that's going to age well for us. Now, we just have to pray that this team plays up to expectations here we have a few weaknesses on this team so i am a bit concerned but you know what danny walters here and as long as danny's here we're winning games now i truly thought the detroit red wings were washed and we wouldn't be able to bounce back here but we're first with 59 wins so it's safe to say the team's looking incredible right now domi's leading the way 91 points but was walter up to this season only 74 points he's fallen off a cliff he's not that guy anymore i mean he is 32 years old he probably doesn't have a ton of good years left in him but i know we can still win a couple stanley cups here meanwhile roger Matt Matthews, where are you up to? 44 wins, two shots, and 909 to 283. I could live with these numbers right here. And you're going to keep on getting better. Mediumly potential, you're an 85 overall. You might be able to hit an 87 wide under contract for us. But I don't really care what Matthews did in the regular season. Can he step up in the playoffs when it matters most? We have the Florida Panthers up first. Potentially a matchup against either the Tampa Bay Lightning or Ottawa Senators in the second round. We got some tough teams to take on early. But it doesn't look like the Florida Panthers will be able to put up any sort of fight against us. Matthews is doing incredible in between the pipes. He's locking down here. And we're off to the second round 
the quick sweep. So the team's all warmed up. We're looking pretty solid right now, but we have the Ottawa Senators up next. And you already know Ottawa's going to be competing with us. They've been a great team this entire rebuild so far, but I think we are a bit better. Yeah, so we're not going to talk about what's happening here. We're down 3-1 in the series, and we might be potentially eliminated in game five, seven to four. The Ottawa Senators beat us once again. It's just an absolute shame. How do we always lose to Ottawa? Like literally every single time we lose in the second round, it's to the Ottawa Senators. It literally makes no sense. And Walter only six points in nine games. What happened to our king? Now we really don't have too many years left with Walter. He's going to be turning 33 here. He might have four seasons left in the tank. We got to get him at least one more Stanley Cup. Ideally two, but we're going to start with one. So the draft wasn't looking too good until the 92nd overall pick where we're securing a medium lead potential sniper. More than likely this guy's going to get traded because it's going to take too long for him to develop, but he is going to be a good trade asset. And it looks like we're going to keep on bringing in good trade assets because with the 188th overall, we're going to be drafting a medium lead potential goaltender. So during the re-sign phase, we're not going to do too much we are going to give out one extension though that's going to backstrom we're doing 5.1 for the next three years i don't think he's actually going to accept this deal i think we are going to offer him a bit more money never mind we're going to be locking him down with the rest of these guys here unless you're an rfa that i'm qualifying you're going to be leaving the team now this is the second time that sean Dursey's run in detroit has ended we're going to be shipping him out here you're going to the carolina hurricanes for a fifth and seventh rounder we just have to clear up that contract seven million dollars from 82 overall that's definitely not the move so we got to make a couple trades here because we need to fill out the rest of the roster elliot we're going to be picking you up from the new york rangers we're going to be sending you one of our rfas and just for a bit of context for what that rfa just signed for 6.7 for the next four years at an 82 overall the player that we acquired an 81 overall that's getting paid 2.6 million so i'd rather save that four million dollars if it's only a one overall boost so as i stated this medium lead potential player is going to take too long to develop so i'm going to package him up along with the first and third round pick over to the carolina hurricanes we're going to get a medium lead potential defenseman who's an 84 overall already he can immediately jump into the lineup i think this package is going to be enough there we go we just upgraded the defensive core and then i'm going to give this guy an extension next season so we have to continue to make trades here to stay under the salary cap and this defenseman right here he's an 80 overall and he wants like six million dollars this 83 overall is only getting paid one million dollars right now so we're going to make a trade like this unfortunately i'm going to have to take out that fourth rounder but we're still going to get this deal done and then what that 80 overall just signed for well he signed for 5.8 million dollars 5.8 million is definitely not worth it for an 80 overall all right, so we do have a couple of extensions to give out here. Clark Castle, I'll actually give you exactly what you want. 2.125 million for the next two years. And then Backer, I also think I'm going to give you an extension. But I'm against this one a little bit. We might only do one season. Because 4.1 for a fourth line guy isn't really worth it. But you know what? If we can do something like this, then I'll definitely be okay with this deal. All right, so we have $13 million to work with. So we can sign a couple guys to one-year deals here. Add to Rad 2, we'll do $6.9 million for next season. And then Frondell, you were on this team last season. I didn't think we would have enough money for you, but I guess we do so here's 4.4 for next season so there's no question about it last season was a disappointment but you know what we basically have the entire team coming back here so we should be pretty similar to last season on top of that the defense is actually in a better position this season so that's going to be even better although Noah Dobson has dropped to an 85 overall he's going to be declining real quick here I wouldn't be overly surprised within two years he's out of the league but he's definitely going to be off our team I can tell you that for a fact while the goaltending Matthews he's up to an 86 overall he's going to be the guy for the next two seasons we have him under contract at a great price right now 2.9 million for the next two that's a spectacular deal for an 86 overall and with this team looking improved can we win 60 games this season because if we won 59 last season and the entire team got better by rights we should be winning 60 games however this is nhl 24 and we know how the simulation works completely random okay i am absolutely furious right now i don't care what the record is we're a disappointment so far 34 25 and 3 don't always lean the way 88 points but there is something i am so incredibly furious about so the ai handles the trade block every single time i change it the ai just ends up changing it like two minutes later so i don't even worry about it but i just saw who was on the trade block i can't believe he is here danny walter how could you how could you ever put this man on the trade block he is untouchable and you are telling me for the requested return we're looking at a second rounder a third rounder and depth players no this is an absolute joke danny walter is one of the greatest players of all time put a bit of respect on his name and saying all that though dan you could be doing a bit better this season i mean 54 points in 62 games at least be a point a game like the other guys here domi 88 points cooley 78 you're playing on the top line alongside them but you're not producing like they are now i suppose it wouldn't hurt if we made one trade here i can't believe that domi's on the trade block it makes absolutely no sense to me but a guy like green tree that could potentially be a solid move for us i mean at that cap hit i'm not doing it because i'm not going to pick up a third line guy for seven million dollars but if we can find a decent contract here we might be able to do something 
like this right here this is the guy we want so two second rounders for this guy I don't even know if he fits on this team. I couldn't tell you what position he plays. All I know is we brought him to this team. So I guess this guy turned out to be an amazing pickup for us because he has a fantastic fit on the second line here. We actually might be keeping him around long term. I had no clue what I was doing when I made that trade, but it actually worked out for us pretty well. Now, as long as he wants to sign a reasonable extension, we'll be bringing him back to this team. And when it comes to a contract extension, we can do something like this, 8.1 for the next six seasons. So the falloffs definitely happen quick, going from a 59-win team down to ninth in the entire league with a 46-32-4 record. The offense isn't too bad, but it's the defense that took a massive step back this season, and that's due to Noah Dobson's decline. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say Noah Dobson might be below an 80 overall. He's down to an 83, a massive decline. He only has top six potential now, and what are we paying this? This man like 11.5 million dollars okay that is definitely not the move walter 70 points this season i guess i'll take it matthews your numbers a massive step back here don't really know why they took a massive step back considering you got better but i guess the entire team did get a bit worse this season so i can't expect too much we're taking on the tampa bay lightning in the first round if we get through the first round we're gonna face ottawa in the second and somehow lose i mean this time ottawa's actually favored over us so they technically should beat us but you never know like, it seems like the underdog always seems to win in that second round matchup so i guess it's actually going to benefit us for not being first in the division for once but if we're going to beat ottawa in the second round we have to make it to the second round we split the series so far we're going to be dropping game five and we could potentially be dropping game six and eliminate here but that's not happening a massive 2-1 victory and we're off to game seven so here we go game seven winner's going to be taking on ottawa in the next round we're picking up the first two goals of the game we got this lockdown a 4-1 victory and we're off to the second round I also believe Ballard actually picked up a hat trick in this game. Never mind, he only had two goals, but that was a fantastic pickup for us. And it looks like I spoke too soon because who's going to be getting smoked in the first round? The Ottawa Senders. So that means we have to take on the New York Rangers. But if the Rangers can beat Ottawa, they can beat anyone. So we got to be prepared to play. So I guess the New York Rangers are complete frauds because we're going to be sweeping them and we're in the conference finals just like that. So this is going to be our toughest matchup next. The 54 win New Jersey Devils. We're eight wins away from winning Walter his third Stanley Cup, but we can't get ahead of ourselves here we gotta take it one game at a time so after dropping game one this team's been unstoppable winning three straight games are we gonna make it four straight it looks like we are and we're off to the stanley cup final so here we are back in the stanley cup final a place this team's been a handful of times with walter leading the way we already know this man doesn't have too many years left so each stanley cup final means a ton so here we go the stanley cup final the detroit red wings taking on the arizona coyotes and that's a quick sweep and we're stanley cup champions all right that was way easier than i thought now respectfully i don't think we should have won the stanley cup this easily but who is finally scoring goals and let us in goals on this team danny walter what an absolute legend 11 goals eight assists for 19 points third on the team in scoring this man stepped it up when we needed him also noah dobson i gotta give a massive shout to you you stepped it up when we need you to 14 points in 20 games i thought you weren't that guy anymore but when it mattered most you stepped up and matthew 16 wins one shot a 923 to 224 i guess i should never doubt this team because when it matters most we can step up unless we have to play the ottawa center because then we'll fold so i already know that we don't have made draft picks we traded our first rounder and second rounder away so with our very first pick in the draft the 96th overall we got a mediumly potential goaltender it's not too bad now we're actually not done there with the mediumly potential goaltenders because with the 129th overall we got ourselves another one so late in the draft here i can't really find any prospects that are going to have a ton of value so i'm going to ship all these picks over to the anaheim ducks and we're going to pick up two third rounders so not too much is happening during the resign phase all these guys are walking the only player that's going to be coming back to the team is this defenseman right here we're going to have to trade him away because how much money does he want again i think he wanted like seven eight million dollars 7.6 million we have 6.1 to work with so those numbers just don't add up okay so obviously we're getting rid of noah dobson because that man has declined so much he's a 79 overall however he has way more trade value than what he should so we're going to ship him over somewhere i actually don't really care where he goes and plays the boston bruins give me two third round picks for 11 and a half million dollars i don't know what team would ever accept that deal but you know what we have some money we can work with and we can just sign a superstar defenseman here so let's see who's available so I think this is the defense we're going to go for right here. Franchise potential 95 overall. We're going to spend all of our money here. We are going to have 78 overalls on our bottom six. But you know what? That's perfectly fine. 15.8 million. That's a million dollars more than what he's asking for. But we got to bring this man to the team. All right. So I'm looking at a trade like this where Philip Thomasino is going to be traded.
trade over to the Buffalo Sabres. Tomasino, we're not going to be able to afford to bring him back. He's an 86 overall. He's going to be declining, but he's got some decent trade value, so we might as well use that. I don't think I'm going to get a second rounder, so I'm going to try for a third and a fourth rounder. This package is going to be sent over to the Buffalo Sabres. They're going to be saying no. We're just a bit off, though, so I think a seventh rounder could be the difference. So here's the seventh rounder for the year 2037, and I think that will be enough to get this deal done. But now it's time to flip those draft picks that we just acquired. So our next trade is going to be with the Nashville Predators, and a third and fourth rounder is going to be sent over for Hunter. He's going to play some bottom six minutes, but we're still not done here. And we're not done because we still have to continue to fill out the bottom six, and that's what we're going to be doing with the trade with the Washington Capitals. A bottom six player is coming in for a second and third round pick. So now that we've picked up bottom six pieces, it's time to fill out that defensive core. And Bouchard, you could be a solid guy for us. You're on your rookie. You're on your rookie deal in 82 overall, and basically we just need cheap players on this team, and you fit that exact criteria. And to cap off all the moves here, we're making one last one with the Buffalo Sabres. We're picking up Rene. He's going to be a good left defenseman for us. I'm surprised that this deal isn't enough. I think we are going to have to do three third round picks here, so I'll take out that fifth rounder. Three third round picks for a third pairing defenseman. Okay, three third round picks not being enough is kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. Here's a sixth rounder as well. This massive package sent over to the Buffalo Sabres, and we got this complete. So Kalanen, I picked you up last season but now it's time to bring you back for the future 7.5 for the next five years and then Rene, this is going to be a no-brainer for us 3.2 for the next five years you're a really young player you're going to keep on getting better but to find depth defensemen that are on good contracts that's incredibly hard to find all right, so I'm happy to say even at 34 years old, Walter's still looking like an absolute stud. This man is aging like fine wine and 87 overall. He's still one of the best in the entire game, but we all know age is eventually going to catch up. This team right here is looking absolutely fantastic. All these guys I acquired, I did not expect to have these good of line fits. We're looking absolutely spectacular here. On top of that, the defense, amazing line fits as well. A plus five boost on the first pairing, a plus two on the second. You know what? Even though we're not getting any line chemistry boosts on the third pairing, these guys are going to be holding holding it down and we're also gonna be really good defensively I want to point that out we have so many defensive defensemen on this team it makes absolutely no sense so you already know we're gonna be keeping the puck out of our net and on top of that we have a great goaltender 85 overall Matthews in between the pipes so if the defense isn't playing up to par we know this man will step up so after last season's disappointment and all the moves we made over the offseason we were clearly cooking first in the entire league I thought 59 wins would have been enough to serve ourselves as the best in the entire league no question about it but the Seattle Kraken were doing their thing they had 59 wins as well we were only ahead of them because of ot losses the offense was flying 4.38 goals per game while the defense below three were always taking that now when it comes to the scoring of this team what do you think walter did this season he disappointed me once again just below a point a game 79 points in 82 games but 33 goals might be a career high for him I guess 33 isn't a career high because a couple years ago he did have 39, but 33 goals is going to be the second best season of his career, so we're always going to take that. Meanwhile, as Matthews in your final season with the team, what are you cooking up here? 47 wins, 3 shots, a 900 save percentage, and 296 goals against. You know what? I know you can step up in the postseason when it matters most. We got the New York Rangers in the first round. It's time for this team to go on a bit of a run, and ideally not take on the Ottawa Senators in the second round because you already know what happens then. Okay, so we won a Stanley Cup last season, and we weren't the best team in the entire league but we improved ourselves we're in a better spot and now we're down 3-1 against the new york rangers we're gonna be bouncing back in game five though two nothing win we got to win this one though we have to win three straight to survive this series and it looks like we're off to game seven so three in a row might actually be possible for us so here we go the boys got to step it up when it matters most here in the first period matthew boldy's gonna be scoring the first goal of the game the Rangers is gonna be picking up another one here they have a 2-1 lead entering the third period but you know what walter's already got one in this game he's about to pick up another two and lead us to greatness okay he did pick up another goal he scored the only two goals of the game for us but we are going to be dropping this one five to two not a great way to go out in walter's final years he picked up eight points in seven games i can't believe the rest of the team let us down walter did everything he could but the rest of the guys just didn't show up to make this season even worse when it came down to the stanley cup final the st louis blues are going to be losing to the columbus blue jackets i thought this season couldn't get any worse i guess it just did i mean there is one thing that could make this season worse and that would be walter retiring but i highly doubt that's going to be happening bro still an 86 overall he's got a few more good years left in him all right so we're gonna be losing a couple guys to the bottom six here so this rookie from the la kings could be the move he's a 79 overall to begin his career we'll have him locked down for the next three years on his rookie deal he's gonna turn into like an 83 overall player by the time he's in his third year this is a smart move for us unfortunately we're not going to get this third round pick as well but we are getting the prospect so every single draft i'm guaranteed at least one elite potential goaltender and that's where we're going to be selecting 124th overall the past three drafts have been insane for us we just keep on bringing these elite potential goaltenders in. 
All right, to finish the draft off here, we're not going to use these picks right here because there's not really any good prospects available. So let's just pick up a third round pick from the Arizona Coyotes. Now we only have $7 million to work with and I can't give money to any of these guys right here because they all want $4 million. So they're going to be letting all of them walk except for this man right here. We're qualifying him as RFA and then we'll trade him away. So the goaltending might be a bit suspect on this team. We're rocking an 81 overall and we're paying him 1.4 million. Our backup is going to be a 71 overall. He's got a lead potential though, so he might turn into something, but we're going to be paying our goaltender three million dollars total is that going to hold this team back probably but you know what we don't really have too much to work with here because Domi wants an extension and he wants a lot of money then again do we just trade him away because 16 million dollars is a lot but he's been the best player on this team so we better keep him here so Domi this is going to be your extension right here man is it expensive 14 million dollars for the next eight years and he's not going to be the only expensive extension here he's lacking in we're also giving you a deal and that's going to be 13 million dollars for the next seven so our RFA and Monroe and Day both of them are going to be sent over to the Winnipeg Jets we're getting an 85 overall who can play on the the bottom six here I like this deal. I like this deal a lot. And that's not going to be the only player we acquire for the bottom six because we're also picking up Hobson from the San Jose Sharks. 84 overall. He can play some bottom six minutes for us as well. These are two fantastic deals. So I'm sad to say that the decline has finally happened for Walter. 35 years old. He's dropped to an 86 overall. He's lost some X factors. He's only got two more good seasons left in him. But I think that this team can compete for a Stanley Cup. We have a fantastic core here. An 87 overall in the third line. When I acquired this player, he definitely wasn't an 87 overall. But he's definitely lived up to the hype so far the defensive core is still strong led by a 96 overall he's got himself a superstar x factor and on top of that we got some great line chemistry here but if this team does have a weakness it comes in between the pipes rahalo is going to begin a majority of the starts here at 83 overall we have leech a 75 backing him up these two goaltenders here i'm not too convinced they can win stanley cups for us then again i've also seen 78 overalls win stanley cups and post 930 save percentages and 220 goals against averages so i don't think it really matters on the overall as long as the team in front use really good then you'll be able to win and that's exactly what we have here let's go ahead simulate the season we're not going to make any trades here because we don't really have the cap space for it but we also don't have the assets so detroit i believe in what we have here i believe we built an incredible team and now we just have to live up to the hype so i'm very surprised that our goaltending tandem was able to hold it down as well as they did third in the entire league with a 54 25 and 3 record the offense was good but the defense okay 2.65 is wild for what we had in between the pipes now i don't expect walter to be doing anything crazy this season 68 points i'm expecting a bit more but then he did get taken off the power play he had zero power play points this season so 64 points is actually incredible for him meanwhile the goaltending numbers absolutely spectacular this 75 overall might be the guy for us 13 wins four shouts a 930 and a 196 Okay, he was him. Okay, this is our year to win a Stanley Cup. We don't have to worry about the Ottawa Senators. The only team we might have to worry about is the Tampa Bay Lightning. We don't have to worry about Ottawa. We don't have to worry about the New York Rangers. If we can get by Tampa in the second round, or we somehow play the Toronto Maple Leafs, we're guaranteed a Stanley Cup, no questions about it. So we're going back and forth with the Florida Panthers here. Game five is going to be a big one. We got to be taking that one if we're going to win this series. That's exactly what's happening. In game six, we're closing this one out. Okay, we had three incredible games where we were scoring a ton of goals. Ten goals here seven goals here six goals here we were really lighting the lamp so the toronto maple leaf swept the tampa bay lightning so i'm actually a bit nervous of them because they did sweep the tampa bay lightning tampa is always one of those teams that can compete with us but toronto swept them so we actually better watch out for toronto they're not messing around all right so i guess the toronto maple leafs are a bunch of frauds we should have known that because they don't win games in the second round they barely win games in the first round we're off to the conference finals in a quick sweep so here we go walter and what could potentially be your final season we've made it to the conference finals already we have the philadelphia flyers up next and then after this we're taking on either the seattle kraken or chicago blackhawks the way this team's rolling right now i don't see anyone stopping us we've won seven games in a row and we've been scoring goals okay so i'm not really going to talk too much about what's happening here i was gassing this team up yeah we're not going to talk about what happened here the way I was gassing this team up and I was gassing up the fact that we were scoring a lot of goals and then we proceeded to score absolutely no goals. Danny Walter, what'd you do? This could potentially be your final postseason. Okay, you actually kind of fell off here. 12 points in 15 games isn't bad, but considering Domi had 21 points and you were playing alongside him and Cooley had 20 and you played alongside him as well, I'm expecting at least a point a game. I mean, it doesn't really help that our goaltender completely folded, but we should have made the Stanley Cup final. 
Okay, so I know for a fact that this first round pick is going to skyrocket in value. The 30th overall in a future fourth round is being sent over to the Arizona Coyotes. We're getting their first round pick. We're going to bring in some elite players that are on their rookie contracts. And that's how we're going to fill out the bottom six because we have no money. And then to cap it all off here, a third rounder, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth all over to the Florida Panthers. And we're going to get their first round pick for next season. Unfortunately, they're saying no, but we do have a couple guys that are about to become RFAs. So we can just include them into this deal. So I'll take out that fifth and sixth rounder and I'll give you Bouchard instead and now we're getting this deal done so we're basically going to have no draft picks for the next two years except for first rounders and i'm going to acquire this one from the columbus blue jackets so i think we have four first round picks to work with next season a lot of them are going to skyrocket in value and we're going to get some great assets now free agency is going to be very simple for us qualify an rfa that's it 99 percent of the time when i head into the re-sign phase the reason i do nothing is because i have everything done beforehand i already have everyone i want to bring back extended so when it comes to the re-sign phase most of the time it's just those guys i'm 50 50 about or i know for a fact that we're not going to be able to resign so i just let walk so it's time to bring in some guys on the rookie contract to fill out the bottom six here the first move we're going to be doing is picking up Roden from the tampa bay lightning 83 overall with medium lead potential he's going to continue to develop unfortunately they're going to be saying no to this deal right here we do have some goaltenders we can work with though which goaltender do you want you can have this one right here he has medium lead potential he's going to boost the value a bit of this trade i'm still surprised you're saying no here i thought this would have been enough so with that not being enough hopefully a second and seventh round it could be the difference it should be able to this is a massive package right here we've acquired one player on the rookie deal it's time to acquire a couple more so now it's time to fill out the rest of the team and i think we're going to be able to get this medium lead potential for a first rounder and a prospect i'm going to send this over to the colorado avalanche we got another deal done so we're not done with the moves yet because two first rounds are now being sent over to the vancouver canucks we're picking up a medium lead potential he's an 84 overall under contract for the next two years we're also picking up two second round picks and a third rounder they're gonna be saying no to this deal right here i do want to get these two second rounders though if i'm taking that one second round route you got to give me a third rounder i gotta be walking away with at least a little draft compensation they're gonna be saying no to this one i'll take out the third rounder this should be enough okay the fact that we have to go up two first round picks here is a bit wild but maybe i can get two third round picks i know the second rounder has a lot of value i'm going to send this over they're saying no i'll just take out the third round pick and we're finally able to get this one done now by making this trade right here we're going to have no draft picks for next season and we're basically going to have no draft picks for the year after we're going to have a first a fifth and sixth rounder to work with for 2039 but you know what we don't have too much time in this rebuild we got to win while we can now before we head into this season i'm about to do something i never do walter i'm giving you exactly what you want 6.5 for the next two years you're 35 years old i honestly don't see you riding out that entire contract but i got to give you the money you're worth so in what could be potentially walter's final season we already know what this team's looking like we're going to be competing for a stanley cup and we're going to be one of the best in the entire league the defense also incredible led by a 96 overall who would have thought that this guy would have been one of our defensemen i picked him up in free agency and i paid a bag for this man 15.8 million that's absolutely absurd but you know what he's kind of lived up to the hype he's been a really solid player for us the fact that he picked up 53 points as a defensive defenseman that proves that you're an underrated defenseman no cap and then the goaltending tandem it's going to be looking the same this year rahala he's going to be leading the way 85 overall leech is up to a 78 but there is one change we're going to be making here and this is the lone change we're going to be making walter i'm putting you on the first power play line i want you getting a lot of ice time i want you picking up a ton of points i want to see if it's even possible for you to have an 82 point season you're going to be playing a lot of minutes this season ideally you're playing 20 20 plus i don't think that's gonna be happening though i probably should have put you on the number one power play option a while ago but you know what we've had so many good players on this team it's been hard to utilize everyone so no surprise the red wings are gonna be an elite team here we're finishing third in the entire league but the real question is what did danny walter do in what could potentially be his final season he's over a point a game all we had to do was give this man opportunity on the power play and he's gonna produce for us 46 goals 40 assists 86 points he is that guy and the most surprising thing about all this he only had nine power play points this man was just elite playing 20 minutes a game i don't know what the difference was even if you take those nine power play points away he still finished with 75 points 75 points might be the best season he's ever had where he's not on the power play because the last time this man didn't play on the power play this is what his numbers looked like 60 points 58 points 46 points this man was an absolute beast five on five 46 goals is a career high i don't know what to say about danny walter this man is going to go down as one of the greatest of all time the the goaltending is looking absolutely solid here we got the new york rangers in the first round one last stanley cup for walter he deserves it more than anyone now i've been doing a lot of yapping here we had a 3-1 series lead i thought we were all good we're off to game seven
We've lost back-to-back -back games here. Danny Walters trying to make a case for the Hall of Fame. And honestly, if you were to ask me, he's guaranteed the Hall of Fame. One of the greatest players of all time. As long as we don't lose in game seven here, we're off to overtime. This team's not going to be choking. We're off to the second round. If we lost in the first round here, that might hurt his resume a little bit. So we bowed through some adversity in the first round. We've made it to the second round. We're taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm not concerned about the Maple Leafs. They never put up a good fight against us. No, but you got to think. Danny Walters got himself a pretty solid case for making the Hall of Fame. I believe he's won three Stanley Cups so far, so if we can win another one here, that's going to be four Stanley Cups. We swept the Toronto Maple Leafs once again. Like, I want you to name me one player that's been the captain of their team for their entire career, went on to win four Stanley Cups as one of the best players in the league. I'm gassing Danny up. He definitely wasn't one of the best players in the league, but you have to remember, this man was drafted 224th overall, Mr. Irrelevant. Everyone thought this dude was going to be a bust. I mean, I shouldn't really say they thought he was going to be a bust because no one thought he would turn into anything. Okay, we won the first two games. We lost three in a row. I should probably focus on what's going on here. We're off to game seven. But Danny Walter defied all the odds, turning into one of the greatest players of all time. Not only was he a fantastic offensive performer, but when you need some physicality, you could rely on him. So Danny Walter, what are you going to be doing in game seven here? It doesn't look like you're picking up a goal in the first period. You know what? That's fine. There's tons of time left in this game. Are you picking one up in the third? It doesn't look like it, but who cares? We're in the Stanley Cup final. So it all comes down to this one final series for Danny Walter. Can you pick up his fourth Stanley Cup in the video and go down as one of the greatest of all time we split the series so far two games apiece game five is a big one but we're getting blown out in that one eight to one we can't fold now danny's got to get himself another stanley cup but we're going down like this an overtime loss in game six an absolute shame we should have got danny one more okay danny ain't no way i just gassed you up that entire playoff run and you just picked up 14 points in 24 games i was hyping you up as one of the greatest players of all time and you were just above half a point a game i got nothing to say here i'm just absolutely disappointed in my man danny now i guess the real question is is danny walter gonna be retiring here because he is 36 years old also a couple of those draft picks we traded away actually had quite a bit of value turning into the 12th and 13th overall pick but it doesn't matter the real question Danny Walter, are you going to be calling it a career here? I mean, you didn't have the most points, so we do have to scroll down a bit. Now, I'm happy to say it looks like Danny Walter hasn't called it a career yet. He wants to run it back for one more. He knows what this team is capable of. Now, of course, we don't have to spend any time at the draft here. We have no draft picks to work with, so we can't draft anyone. And then when it comes to the re-sign phase, nothing's happening. We're just qualifying two RFAs. So we're only making a few trades here, and this is going to be one of them. We're picking up a centerman from the Ottawa Senators, our biggest rival. He's an 85 overall, and he's going to provide some depth to this team and then we're going to give up one extension here that's going to go to binaural it's going to be 12 million dollars for the next six seasons so i don't really need to talk about who's on our team we're all well aware of that but we got to talk about danny walter's career and his case for being in the hall of fame because you know what he's got a pretty good one 1000 points by this time in the nhl we're in the year 2038 there's probably 300 ish players that have recorded a thousand points danny walter is one of them on top of that, I believe he has won three Stanley Cups. By the year 2038, do you know how many players in the NHL have won three Stanley Cups? Probably less than 250, probably less than 225. So not only has he picked up a thousand points, but he's won three Stanley Cups. What more does this man need to do? By the way, here's the forward core in case you were wondering what that looks like. Here's the defensive core, and then here's the goaltending. The goaltending is taking a bit of a step back, but you know what? We're not going to worry about it. This team's going to finish at the top of the league. Danny Walter's going to be leading the way, but I'm going to make sure I put him back on those power play lines because he made a big difference there. Now, I don't think I need to mention this again, but I will. We have basically no money to work with. We have no assets to work with. We're just simming right to the end of the season. This team can't make any trades. Okay, Walter, I'm going to be honest. A massive fan of you. You're a great player. We all know this. We're a top team in the NHL. Domi's going to be leading the team in points. 91. He always does this. Walter's having a fantastic season. 31 goals, 45 assists for 76 points. You're an 84 overall. I want to point something out. We're in like year 16 of this rebuild. And Walter had already completed two seasons in my old rebuild. So bros almost played 20 years in the NHL. I think it's time to retire. Walter, you're a great player. I understand that. We're taking on the Boston Bruins first. But man, you got to call it a career eventually. I mean, you're still putting up great numbers. Nothing against that. But man, is it hard to rebuild teams when you get this deep into franchise mode? Like every single player believes they're worth $19 million. Not everyone is worth $19 million. You might not know that. 
but not everyone's worth that. But I mean, since we're in the postseason, we might as well win your fourth Stanley Cup and you can go down as one of the greatest players of all time. I mean, you're already the greatest. I mean, what does Wayne Gretzky have against you other than literally every single record? But yeah, Walter's him. Wayne Gretzky never played for the Detroit Red Wings. Walter did. And Wayne Gretzky never stayed on one team his entire career. Walter did. So yeah, I think you can make a pretty sound argument for Walter being better than Wayne Gretzky. Now we're guaranteed the conference finals here because we're taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs in the second round. If we lose one game to Toronto, then I'll be a bit concerned. Okay, we lost two to the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs are one team that we don't lose against. Seven goals in game number five, and we're going to close this out with nine goals in game number six. Why would I ever be worried? So here we go, the conference finals. The Pittsburgh Penguins won 39 games this season. That's about all that needs to be said here. All right, I am so sorry I disrespected the Pittsburgh Penguins. I don't know why I did that. We lost in five games. Oh boy, that is a tough way to go out. Hopefully this isn't Walter's final season. Walter, I was saying that you need to retire, but you can't retire like this. You can't retire after losing in game five to a 39 win team. Now, it wasn't necessarily that bad in the playoffs. Six goals, six assists for 12 points. The goaltending, I know for a fact that wasn't good. That's the big thing that's been holding us back these past couple years. This guy just never stepped up when we needed him to. I mean, last year he wasn't that bad, but this season here and this season here, he was just straight awful. But with Walter dropping to an 83 overall, the question has to be asked, is he going to be returning to the team here? The Pittsburgh Penguins are going to be losing to the Nashville Predators. So that means Nashville is going back to back. But the real question is, what's going to be happening to Danny Walter if is he going to be calling it a career? We're about to find out. And it looks like it has finally happened. Danny Walter going down as one of the greatest players of all time. 1,312 games played, 437 goals, 669 assists for 1,106 points. But we do have to remember he did play like two seasons before we even entered this rebuild. So he's probably seen around 1,200 points. But Danny Walter, you're one of very few players to crack 1,000 points. There's probably less than 300 players that have reached that plateau. On top of that you were able to win three stanley cups with the detroit red wings you were able to turn that team around and lead them to greatness once again what you were able to accomplish in your career is nothing short of incredible going from the last pick in the draft 224th overall to a hall of fame career you're an absolute inspiration for all those out there and if you made it to the end of this video you probably thought i would have said comment walter or comment danny walter any of those but instead comment marchenko because he's going to be retiring alongside danny walter and marchenko helped us win a couple Stanley Cup. He was on the Detroit Red Wings for a handful of years and he was one of the best players during that stretch. So Marchenko, you get the privilege of retiring alongside a Hall of Famer like Danny Walter because that's exactly what he is. We turned the last pick in the draft into a Hall of Famer.